Welcome to Zero Page yeah. Homebrew. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome, Atari Cat. And Pixel's just leaving. <laughs> so welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles. Mm -hmm. uh, and we stream at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. Right there. Her <laughs> penless VG says hello at 60 frames a second. <laughs> And we've got Tanya. Yeah, it back. feels like it's been a really long time. It it has for you three weeks. Something like I that. I think because no, you've Darcy, that doesn't make any sense. And then you were gone, four and then weeks. Darcy. Four weeks. Yeah. Four weeks because you're been... on every two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and we skipped one because we were. Uh, I was away. Yep. In uh, Dallas, Texas. Yep. So back. Oh, out of sync. Oh my God. See, that's what happens when you're rushed. Uh, everything is always the thing that goes wrong, and it's usually that one because that's the last thing I think of. Ugh, the audio. It's terrible. Yeah, one little setting I need to just flip back and forth so it knows the setting is there. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> um, so thanks everybody for uh, showing up. Refresh now, ads. Sorry yeah. about your ads. <laughs> um, it is out of my hands that you have ads. I think. With Twitch, if you subscribe or something, you don't have ads. I don't know how it works. No. I'm not sure. So, today we're going to be playing three games. Uh, one is called Egg Venture, which we've played before. You okay. haven't. Mm -mm. Um, but this is version two. We played version one. Mm. And version two is like completely different. All new graphics, different look of everything. Cool. Different Similar maze, but different stuff. Um, we're going to be playing Go Fish. Well, that one was two, that from 2011. This one's from 2005. Old stuff here. Go Fish by Bob Montgomery. And then we're going to be challenging ourselves with Sky Jinx. Mm, interesting. An Activision game nice. from 1982 wow. by Bob Whitehead. And I think he's usually a mainstay at the uh, uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Mm. I in all the form name. and in, in the, the in this um what do you call it panels the panels yeah yeah the yeah. panels cool. yeah very cool um i want to thank all the twitch subscribers that subscribe to the show and uh there are a lot now uh, it just jumped up a bunch this week from from wednesday i noticed on wednesday the list was Look a little list. the list was a little shorter and then now it's back to kind of where it was before no no it's been growing each each time really yes oh okay it's at it's at 19 people now. Excellent. Uh, well, thank so, you, 19 people. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23. Mm -hmm. A new name, so I have to figure this out. Crocodil Von <laughs> Nil. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's a mouthful. Uh, Mr. Fix, uh, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Happy Hour, Sir Cat Legs. Spastastic, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. Mm -hmm. And you can support the show too and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and yeah. click subscribe. It's yes. that easy. Look at all the people that did it. Mm -hmm. What exactly is Zero Page? Mallard <laughs> Games asks. Yes. Well, uh, Zero Page is a technical term um, from computers and programming. Mm -hmm. um, it's a way to uh, quickly address memory addresses. Quickly, uh, you yeah, know, address <laughs> memory addresses. Totally um, confused already. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> um, with only uh, two bytes instead of four mm. bytes. So it saves a bit of time, um, uh, clock cycles, to be able to address that piece of memory rather than using four, um, four bytes. Um, you just use two bytes. And, uh, bytes or you, bits? Um, bytes. Bytes. Bit, bits is just a one, one or off or on. That's yeah. not enough to do anything okay. with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, two bytes yeah. instead of four bytes. Yeah. Um, so it saves time. And it's used extensively in 8-bit architecture oh. um, because it doesn't have much memory to begin with. But once you get to like 16 and 32, 64, they're just like, the computers are fast enough. We don't need zero page anymore. Mm. Um, so it's specific to this era of architecture. Very nice. Um, so I thought it was a really cool sounding name, <laughs> Zero Page, and then you add, added homebrew to it. So that's what Zero Page is, okay. in my uh, non-technical way of uh, speaking about it. If somebody else wants to add more information or correct me completely, <laughs> um, they can go ahead and do that. But I think mm -hmm. I am somewhat correct. 
didn't get into too many details with that. And I want to thank everybody who's in the chat. Not many people have spoken today, but I know there's a lot of lurkers out there watching. There they all are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, some Allard Games, uh, Ice Bosta, and Repentless VG yeah. are talking. Very cool. Welcome to uh, the Friday edition, mm -hmm. where it's a little bit more relaxed, you know. It's the weekend. Don't mm -hmm. expect a lot of people to come here. Mm -hmm. so does 20, 2600 have uh, space? Space! It does a lot of space games. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a lot of... Uh, zero page? It does have zero page addressing. Yeah. Um, uh, 2600, yeah. Cool. And it makes it faster because there's not many clock cycles mm. for a 2600. So if you want to... You keep, you keep your things you want to access a lot in zero page memory. Okay. Um, and speaking of the number of Twitch subscribers that we have, mm -hmm. 19, I wanted to go through the stats of the, of the show. Now that it's been over a year and a half, just over a year and a half okay. that we've been streaming. Yeah. Um, uh, we have 19 Twitch subscribers. Actually, this is probably out of date because I got it a couple days ago because it said 17 before. Yeah. Um, We've streamed 125 episodes. That's crazy. I can't believe we've streamed <laughs> that many episodes, but at, that's at great. At two or three hours each. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of... A lot of, uh, a lot of time. Yeah. Um, we have 256 Twitch followers. That's awesome. So that means every time we stream, it pops up on their screen, their phone, their tablet, unless they've disabled that. Wow. Yeah. Um, and it says, hey, we're streaming. So they can check it out or they can check it out after if they're not looking at their phone. With 366 YouTube subscribers. It's pretty cool. So when we post in the archives, they go, it tells them that mm -hmm. there's a new episode. Um, 550 so, fix, uh, 556 Facebook followers. Mm -hmm. So every time I post that there's a new show coming out the next day, mm -hmm. they will supposedly be alerted to it. <laughs> Facebook is uh, decides whether or not they want to show it because yeah. they want uh, me to pay money to tell people information but that they yeah should but be giving be for doing, free but yeah, yeah i'm not going to be doing that right. um and <clears throat> two uh, 22,000 uh views of uh all the shows mm. on youtube so 22,000 show watches mm. so in the scheme of things not a lot but mm. i think i think it's quite a bit for a little show like this yes <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I missed this news on Wednesday. Um, I pasted it into some other um, some other um, notes and ended up there, not my proper notes. Uh, the penult demo is going to be at PRGE. Mm -hmm. um, that is the kind of uh, Ultima type game. Okay. Ultima port, but it's not really a port. It's homage, really. Um, Al, Al posted about it saying another demo for the 2019 Portland Retro Gaming Expo at the Atari Age booth. <clears throat> Penult, an Ultima style game for the Atari 2600 by Atari Age member Carl G. You can learn more about this exciting new homebrew, a must see for any Ultima fans in the online forum here. Um, oh, and then I have some other notes. To release this game at Atari Age, they'll be designing a new board in order to run the game. Like mm. a new type of cartridge, yeah. Mm. Um, because it is using a different type of architecture than the Melody board, which they usually flash the games to. Mm. So they're going to be. Um, it says that's the plan. We'll be designing a new board to run this game. It currently requires 64k and requires Sarah RAM, which I don't know what Sarah RAM is, but somebody out there might know. Mm. Um, and it requires 64k sure that the um, boards they use have 64k now but maybe they just have 32 so anyway they have to make a new one mm -hmm. um, oh so no none of them support 64k and Sarah we're going to be doing updated version of our of our aria board which currently only supports up to 32k games mm -hmm. and a variety of bank switching schemes including Sarah Ram um, and uh, he added I'm going to be looking into cloth maps as well for the full release of the game and so people who have played Ultima games know that they came with cloth maps of the land wow. of Ultima. Wow. And they were really, really nice, cool releases, like those big box PC releases mm. of the games. Um, 
so that will be a really really cool game to get i'm really looking forward to that and speaking of penalt i was just talking with carl garrison on the atari age forums developer of penalt mm -hmm. and uh zero page homebrew will have a world exclusive preview look at the Ooh, demo nice. of penalt just before portland retro gaming expo nice. so we're going to get a sneak preview here nice um so portland retro gaming expo is in october so it'll be just before that around that time so stay tuned for that mm -hmm. in the coming months mm -hmm. uh subscribing costs money same goes uh some goes to the channel following just keeps you notified when the channel is yeah. live so that's the difference Someone between was asking. Yeah. Yeah. subscribing Versus and following, following. so yeah, yeah i said there we but, have 19 subscribers and we have yeah. 256 followers but as as you mentioned before subs you can subscribe if you have a, um, mm. a twitch prime or Amazon Prime account, mm -hmm. and you you're allowed, I think, one subscription a month. One subscription like that. a month, so yeah, for free, which is kind some of some very nice, nice yeah. people have said I'm going to support Zero Page Homebrew yes. with my <laughs> with my free extra subscription yes. a month. Yes, and some people actually uh, pay money, which is lovely which too. Which is really yeah, wonderful. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, um, oh, and said so, Repentless VG says congrats. Well, thank you very much, <laughs> Repentless VG. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get into the first game. Yay. I tried it on my Harmony cart, and it did not work. Okay. <laughs> so are we going to try it again, or are no, you going no, to? No, no, it just okay. doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Um, so shame. we're going to be playing it on um, Stella. Okay. Which is not going to make any difference to the people out there. No, to the people watching, but yeah. Um, yeah. So he hasn't worked on it since 2011. Okay. And he may have only built it using stella and played it on stella mm. or he flashed it to a different type of cart it says it's dpc plus 32k so mm. i don't know any other flash carts that support dpc plus um so i think he just developed it in stella mm. and never put it on uh the cartridge so yeah so let's get that going i'm gonna let you play first okay um so let's switch over to that where's my remote there we go Oh, actually, keep it right there. That's right. Um, let's set this up. Screen capture. And egg venture. Oh, Ooh. Too big. There we go. <laughs> okay. So it's going to flash away for a second there. Rena Foot says hi, James hi, and Tanya. Rena Hello, Rena Foot. Welcome oh, to the stream. Can you angle that towards me a bit better? Sure. Mm -hmm. I usually put it on the corner. Yeah, there you go. This is kind of. You can put that on the floor. That yeah, doesn't need to be there. I'm and juggling. there's a coaster on the bottom too. I know. A remote, a drink, a laptop. You know. Lots of things. Lots of things. All the important things. Okay, there you go. So this is Egg Venture from Scum Software, uh, made by. Urel Silks, uh, first posted, um, that's your button, A. Mm -hmm. um, first posted May 26, 2011. This build is from July 12, 2011. It's a DPC Plus 32K game. And it's the only game that he has made. So you're a little bird and you flap your wings. You can uh, continuously flap your wings by holding it down. And moving left and right is independent of the flapping. Oh, And you see? can't touch anything. Gotcha. Except for the tree. The well, tree the egg, is fine. Right? And the egg. You have to pick up the egg by getting it into your talons. And then transporting it back to your nest. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's challenging. <laughs> and you do get infinite lives. Good. And it doesn't reset the whole game. And up in the top corner. Oh, I see. Oh, the tree you can go that's through. That's probably way too loud. So Ooh. bear with me. It's going to disappear ah, for a second. Dang. There you go. Um, I actually reported that bug, bug, to Stella. I'm flying. Oh yeah, the tree will push you back up to the top. Uh. Oh, Arena Foot says he's off tonight. Mm. Well, that's actually beneficial. So okay. yeah, you can do that for the first egg. Actually, you can do it for all the eggs and just fly straight into the tree. Now, what am I doing? So you have to go to the left. That's your next screen. So now it's changed to seven, so you have seven eggs left. So avoid everything except for the eggs. Ah, 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 oh, you went right into the Not next purposely. One. Um, 
and we played this uh, on the show a little while back oh, on July 10th, and it kind of resurrected the game. Oh, really? Because he had been pretty dormant on the, oh yeah, pressing down can fire on things, but you haven't had anything to fire on yet. Um, he had been pretty dormant with this game since 2011, and then we played it on the show, and he's like, oh, I'm going to get back to that game. And he posted this version, which was not available at the time. Um, because the other one was pretty janky and weird and funny. And that was the first version we played. So now um, that he's posted the second version, we're going to go back to it. And it's a lot more fair, because the other one... Um, the other one, you had a certain number of lives. Oh, no. You, you kind of... There's so much momentum, it's... Uh... Hard to stop once you're moving. <laughs> it's hard to stop once you get going. Yeah, you just have to outrun this guy. Slow down. There you go. Get it under control. Um, and, he, and he posted, Thanks to Zero Page Homebrew for getting me back here. This game is now back in active development. So that cool. is always really nice. Yay, six more to go! When you can uh, give encouragement to the developers. And, and because I think a lot of the developers, when they don't get a lot of um, feedback or interest, um, they really, you know, they give up because they think they're, they, they're living in isolation, like not getting a lot of... Uh, you go down now. Oh, down. Yeah. Because that's what, that's what people really want is, you know some feedback or interest <laughs> it's just the momentum you can't feedback or interest in their game and he said uh for now here's the older version 2 build of the game instructions there are none it's an, un <laughs> it's an unforgiving adventure game of trial and error yeah. hint be sure to return the sword to the castle after slaying the spider what yeah we, we're not there yet obviously there's no, no spider there's no sword they have no idea what they're talking about yet um, left difficulty switch B puts the game into easier mode, which we are in right now. Are we? <laughs> yeah, this easy mode. Um, take your time and have fun completing the game, but you're still going to die a lot. Oh, yes. Left difficulty switch A puts the game into pro mode. Basically, you're going to die and lose a lot. Um, plus, press fire to flap, touch anything and die. Uh, press down to dookie on things. Arrows, heads, left, right, controls, cluck. So your uh, your name is cluck in this game. Uh, go save your eggs and good luck. If you rescue all eggs, you'll be treated to an ending sequence. Nice. So, oh, oh, we've got a pixel in the camera there, and Atari just left us. Bye, Atari. He's off to do cat things. Yeah, well, cats have, have important things to do. They have lives, they have <sighs> things to get and check out. They've got to do the patrols around the house. Oh, and Pixel's making sure Atari's, Atari's not... not getting into too much trouble. Yeah, or they're going to get into trouble together. Um, Egg Venture uh, 2600 version 3 is being fixed up. Mm -hmm. Lots of bugs were introduced in the remake. Attached version is dated 7-12-2011. That's the one we're playing. Known game breaker bug. If you die after receiving the sword but before collecting it, how do you receive a sword and not collect it? We'll find well, out, we'll I find guess. Out soon enough, I you cannot complete the game and you will need to restart. Make sure you do not die at this time. <sighs> Getting better. <laughs> yeah, but once you get momentum, you're screwed. It's like, uh, yep. that's what makes it challenging. Because you can't really change course. And this is a yet another very unique game. Like we have not of, uh, played this game. No. A, t a game like this before. <sighs> it's my turn yet. Momentum. Yeah, if you want to, but you don't okay. have to restart. No. 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 Okay. We'll just go back and forth. Then. Yep. You have infinite lives, mm -hmm. as you should. It's a hard game. It's one of those games where infinite lives are not a not a problem, mm. really, because why do you want to... It's a lot of horizontal momentum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which 
is good if you want it. Mm -hmm. What if you die if it touches the egg? Good question. Probably, hopefully not, but it probably does. Let's fly into the tree. Yay. Five to go. So you have to keep going all the way out and all the way back every single so time. So far. Yeah. Maybe there's a shortcut later. But not like that bat. But I guess you have to... Like it, his red eyes. It kind eyes. of builds, right? Well, because yeah. Because you have to avoid that bat every time. But the nice thing is because you you're going back this. and forth... Back up. Up. Oh, that's and then the pattern. Go down? Yeah, down. Okay, and then it has a big break. Okay, that's But it fine. comes back up, yeah. That's fine. There's a guy. Do I have to poop on his head? I don't know. Well, I'm going to do that first, just in case. Yep. Psst. And that is a gold bar. That guy's from, looks like he's from uh, Pitfall. Gold bar. Oh, looks he does, like a actually. Bar, doesn't it? Is it? It looks like poop. Oh, you're picking up your poop? I guess. Splattered poop. Ah. Okay, I'll fall. No, I won't follow it up. It comes back down. There we go. Mm. Oh, oh, he, he doesn't, doesn't care, care about that. He only likes. Oh! oh! He only cares about the eggs. <laughs> what does that say? I know why this fails on Harmony. It needs a newer header. Oh, so it could be fixed up easily. Mm. Okay. Is there... Yeah. Well, if anybody makes a new header for it, make sure you post it in the Atari Age forums mm -hmm. um, to help them out. And so people can play it on their Harmony. Ugh, oh, waited too long. And so that... Ah! Ah! Mm. <laughs> oh my god! It's so very sensitive. sensitive. It's very sensitive. The other version of the game was... Brutal. Oh yeah, brutally sensitive. Brutally sensitive. Like you on just hard. Constantly die. Yeah. Uh, just on normal. I don't know if it had an easy or hard mode, but it was just so sensitive that you would just constantly die by running into the walls. Oh, okay. He's still gone. He's still dead. So things kind of stayed the same-ish. Arena foots. Uh... I've never played this one or seen it played, only heard of it. It's like an action-packed Flappy Bird. That's pretty much yeah. what it is. It's a pretty, it's a, it's very Flappy Bird-esque. Yeah, yeah, because you, you're... You're I mean, flapping, you're but you too. have that momentum that... Yes. Like, you're not moving in one line, but... but Yeah, no, definitely it feels like that. Yeah. It definitely, the motion of it feels like Flappy Bird. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It is really, really good. I, like, I, adventure I, I am... platform-ish? With flying kind of game? What would you call it? An adventure game. It's almost game. like an adventure mazy kind of game, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh, God, okay. You have to drop it? I'm Can you poop guessing it out? you take it with you. Oh, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, back oh, I go. Well. You gotta poop it out? Nope. No. Nope. Poop it out. Yep. Okay, I need it. Whatever it is. And that's why the bat didn't bother me, because it's nothing... It's like it doesn't care. It's like, why are care. you picking up uh, your poop? That makes <laughs> no sense at all. Yeah. Oh, well, it's back down there now, yeah, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's at least uh, something. I don't yeah. have to bring everything all the way back. Mm -hmm. At least getting there is not too bad. Like, you only have to deal with this going there. The batch you don't have to deal with. Okay, so we're going to take this into the next. Like, literally, there's no instructions. You just have to figure things out. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is that? I have to Drop it on top. Give him an offering. What is that guy? I know I... He is the dragon from Adventure. Ah, uh, gotcha. Nope. Can you poop on that? No, I can't poop right now. Oh, that's weird. Very concentrated. You're very concentrated. <laughs> um, okay. That's... Interesting. Something. Let's go up here. Oh, God. Okay. That was nothing? Maybe I'm not even supposed to get this yet. I don't know. There's another egg. Uh, oh. But I have this in my... How do you talons. drop it? You can't... I must have to die. Maybe I can exchange it. I'm not going to pick it up this time. 
because maybe I don't need it yet. Or maybe you need it later on. Yeah. Or maybe you shouldn't have killed him in the first place. Mm, and 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 maybe? and the whole game is a failure because. Uh, well, he didn't mention that. He mentioned something about the sword. Maybe that's the sword. Yeah, it doesn't look like a sword. An upside down sword. Does that look like a sword? No. It's like a shining gold bar to me. I think it looks like poop. <laughs> no, it's. I, I think it's a shining gold bar from Pitfall. Mm, I Maybe I can pick that up like now. Poop. No, I'm just going to go for the eggs. Don't <laughs> get distracted. <laughs> no. Arena Foot says, LOL, start over. And I'm yep. like, well, you know Pretty what? Much. You can get the eggs. Yep. I know I can get the eggs, so yeah. I'm going to keep doing that. Yeah. This is going to oh, be a little acid. tough. Don't get... Yes, I'm going to have to is. fly by it at a low level. <sighs> it has to be perfectly timed. It's doable for sure, but it yep. does definitely need to be perfectly timed. Definitely challenging. The annoying part about this one you have to wait a little bit. Not long, yeah, but a little bit. That's not too bad, and then you just drop down. Yeah. Fly over the. What's the red? That red thing? Yeah. Doesn't look like anything to me. Mm -hmm. But you probably do pick it up or put something in it. Mm -hmm. It looks like an offering because that like is like a statue. Oh. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Challenging. It's fun though. I like it. Yeah, the first. There's definitely challenge. I think once you get used to the movement, it gets easier. Oh yeah, it's, it's totally fine now. It's very natural movement. It, it's I mean, like playing Flappy Bird. Uh, it's way better than Flappy Bird. <laughs> Flappy Bird's a it's terrible very game. It's very simple. It's a very simple game. <laughs> yeah. I think I had a version on my Pebble Watch that I used to have, a oh, Flappy Bird clone. Great for anything because you only need one input. Well, one button, yeah. yeah. Either a touch screen. That was oh, it gave a long pause there while I was under it. Seemingly like a long pause. I have to get this back. Oh my god, be so disappointed. Guy's gonna come after me. Yeah, you can't the momentum. Stop. I know. Once if you if you, you can't go down <sighs> once you're going up. Yeah, so you just sit there and go. That's I exactly hope I the stop. floppy bird. You have to. Yeah. yeah. You speed up too much. It becomes you very go, hard to slow down. You can go very fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm progressing. I did get the egg. I got her back pretty far. But that that bat is very scary. So that but there's there's a spider at the top there. Yes. Maybe you need oh. protection or something from the spider. Mm. I'm not gonna try him next. Because there was no egg in there. Mm. Maybe you had to kill him to get past that area. Oh, there is a score on the bottom of the screen uh -huh. that's continuously counting down. Mm. Oh, I miss my so you have a limited amount of time. Oh, it's the first time uh, I've seen him impaled on a oh. on an arrow. It is a lot of time. I think you get you get points for the eggs, so mm. so it goes back up again. So it's kind of like pitfall in that way, where things count down. Hence the pitfall dragon. Uh, yeah, and the gold, statue. and the guy. Oh no, the that statue's not from pitfall. It's from adventure. adventure. Adventure, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's definitely some references in there. Flapping oh. of the wings is really good. And very satisfying sound. Oh, he's pretty big. Wow. Hard to get around him. Oof. <laughs> One pixel away. Oof. Okay. Don't 
go too we fast. Go. Just there you go. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's so cute. It's so close. Isn't the flap just the joust sound? Uh, ah. I haven't played joust enough on the 2600, but it does sound like that. Yeah, it does. It would be a very good joust sound if it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very good flapping sound. It's kind of just the noise sound at a certain level. I love, I love, I love the little, little details. Oh my god. Sorry, like the bat. We can flip, switch up if you want to break. After this one. Okay. Um, I love the little details, like the bat's red eyes. Oh, does he have red eyes? Yeah, and, and you don't see them until you get close to him. Oh. And I when love little things up, like that. Mean? Yeah, see? And as you get closer, red eyes. Oh. He's like, oh, I see you. Oh my god. I see you, bird. Does he go to sleep again? No. No. He's alert. He's alert. You've, oh, you've that's woken him up. Cute. him up. I really like that, yeah. Little Let's little things that. like that, you know. That's what makes a game. Those yep. tiny little details. Stop. Mm. Okay. okay. I won't be doing as well as you are because I think you have a better sense of the the movement than I do right now. Ah. I I I, I try to uh, go down all the time and unintentionally push downwards. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's it's not just, working. It's just instinctual. <laughs> It's only up. <gasps> oh my gosh. This There's is only terrible. Up. Terrible. I need to be more careful. See? <clears throat> Trying to. Ah! Whoa! Go down. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. I overcorrect. Yeah. Yes. Oh! <gasps> What? What? You got a special weapon. I'm not sure. Now what? <laughs> I don't know. Drop I can't. it? No! Oh no. I pooped on it and it, it just became a. Oh, you're gonna have to try and get stuck the egg to me. Or... Oh, jeez. I don't know what I just did. Poor Chocobo. What? <laughs> uh, you can try and put it in that. Okay. I don't understand what just happened there. Now you have something different again. It's on fire? Oh, I have a torch? Yes, Do I need a torch for something? Maybe to kill the spider above? If you want to try that. Nope, nope. Oh, it goes up and down, but still, you can drop it on it, maybe. I don't think so. Well, don't die. I'm not trying to die. <laughs> you can't That really is close. generally, that's generally... Like, what are you doing? Not ah. the intent of me playing this game. <laughs> I don't know if you can get the egg with that thing in your... I'm not even going to try. Oh! Ah! 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 Well, we'll get to see the next screen. Oh! It's Mr. Pitfall himself. No! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> I don't even know how I got the, the torch. That's kind get of crazy. It no, it wasn't intentional. So what can you? But do? it looks like we might need it for later because we saw, we just saw all the screens. That's all of them. And we need to unlock something with that combination of the gold. Very clearly. Or the torch. Maybe you. Or the red thing. So, the red thing's fire. Okay. That's what it well, is. Well, I had a torch. Would you put the torch in his hand, or would you put something else in his hand? Oh, Ooh, the gold bar, maybe. Yeah. Well, he's a pitfall dude. Yeah. So he would like the gold bar. Mm. Oh, Ooh. Mallard Games battery is dying, so... Sorry, Mallard Games, that he's sucks. He's going to be right back. He's going to plug it in or charge it up. And that was very close. <laughs> you going to do the gold? I'm going to try. Okay. If I can not die, you know, that's not always easy for me. It's not easy. It's like getting the right hover. Hovering is is. The easier. screens are great. Oh, Even it's though they're so made cool. With chunky blocks. He, it's so he's cool. used the, the colors really well to add a little bit of dimension to it. No! You want to play? A little bit of dimension. <laughs> like the tree is like super low res, but it's totally a tree. Oh, it's lovely. No, it's lovely. And a little cloud it's there. It's a lovely heart tree. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's cloud or brick wall. Uh, I think it's part of the ceiling because it's the dirt. ceiling in the next. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe it is cloud. Have you hit the cloud? Uh, no, that's, you that's probably rock. die in the cloud. That's rock. You, you do. Think? You do. You do. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, it is rock. Oh, I 
love Emma because I know he's so cute. You can try pooping on those. No, no, no. Then I'll get the thing. I don't oh, want the thing. You can always try and see no, what it, where I want it the leads gold. you. I'm going to try the gold in Mr. Pitfall Harry's hands. Yeah. Be careful that adventure uh, dragon is, uh, is really tall. Yeah. I don't know if the gold kills you. If, if it, touches, it touches, I would. It may just be you, but I would I'm still guessing be, anything does. I would still be careful. Because <laughs> it's like an extension of you at this still point. Still be careful. You would think that uh, basic slash acidic drip would destroy the egg. But They're special eggs. I guess. They're. Very, it should at least tarnish strong. it if it were, you know. Well, I guess gold is is is. So where should I put it? Just tarnish. touch him with it. Touch his hand. His maybe? hand. Nope. nope. Touch his is head. It? Oh, you fly oh. over it. Nice. There we go. And what did that do? Mm, didn't open up anything. It oh, closed. God. It locked you in. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, let's go over to this side then. going to die. Maybe I'm supposed to die? Uh, There's no path visible. What should I do? <laughs> what do you think? Land on his head? Know. Just hit myself poop with him? the right... Poop on him, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's something I can do. Nope. <gasps> there we go. Uh -huh. You have to poop on him enough. Now what? Now what? <laughs> <laughs> um... We have a key. I see no keyhole. I will touch His hand. the bottom of the ground, because if I go to the right, I'm going to die. But if I touch the bottom, it might be okay. Nope. nope. Well, he gave it to him. I'm not going to put it in his hand again. I don't know. It would be weird to give it back to him. Maybe to the left, because it's going to be either the left or the right. Yeah. Maybe that hole? I don't know. Uh, uh, no hints from the crowd. No, the crowd's silent, silent right now. They're intent on watching. It feels like the key goes to the right, so maybe that's... Oh. Well, now maybe there's something you need to forever. do before. Yeah. To open a side or something, and then you yeah. have a key. Does seem like I'm the sure end, there's. I'm it? sure there's like a sequence. Yeah. And Hopefully I swear your time went up, but I could be it wrong. It did, because I've done things. That's why. Oh, Points went time. up. Try... Mm. Should, should I do that? I'm going to get the egg first. Know. Yeah, get the egg. Oh, the thing's gone. No, oh, so So, because right. you, you gave it to him, but now you can't get back in there? Maybe you um, have to die. You have infinite lives, so maybe you do have to die. Yeah. But you have no key. The key must be back. Oh, it's still open. Oh. I bet That's the key's bizarre. back there. That's bizarre. Because I, did, I lost the key. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to this egg first. It gives you a bit more time when you're under it. You yeah, that? yeah. Okay, don't move too fast. Real time limit. There is one, but it's not very stringent. No, it doesn't seem to be too bad. <sighs> Yay! Four. Okay. Now Ooh. there's not. I'm gonna do the fire thing next. You're gonna try that? Yeah. See where, what we can do with the fire. Hmm. Anybody have any ideas about the fire? All I saw was Arena Foot says unknown, and I am not sure what that's in reference to. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got the thing. Yes. Got the, Is the that match. Th yeah. Now I'm going to light it on the fire. That should be flickering. Though. That fire there should be animated, I think. You think so? Yeah, just to show Could that it it's be fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just change the frame. Change so the thing it reads. what do you think? Do you think... Well, this is the only thing left. No, or you can go... I don't know. 
I'm gonna try it on this guy. Yeah, but it might kill you. Probably will. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? I think you need to bring the fire back up to the um, pitfall guy. The pitfall guy? But yeah. He, he, had, he was the one with the gold. With the key, too, but... And the key, so I, I think he doesn't need know. two things. I don't know. He might. He might need a, a torch as well. Maybe I need it for the bat. No, I don't think so. No? That doesn't make sense. So what what old Atari games involve torches? None that I can think of. Like this, there's this thing. Maybe I need to bring it back to the castle after it's oh, lit? Oh, maybe. I'll try the castle, because that's easy. That should be animated, too, once it's lit. Yeah? Yeah. I'll put it right in the middle. Yep. So everything is flying over that that it's worked, yeah. right? You don't have to touch it, you just have to fly over it. Yes, it's true, and then it drops into place. So you don't have to get too close. Whoa, Ooh. without a pixel. Okay, well, let's bring it over. I say bring it over to the... Pitfall Harry. Pitfall Harry, is that his name? Yeah. So he's got a key. And you can't go back down, which is crazy. So... Maybe he needs it in his other arm. You can try. No. Can you pick up the key? Can you exchange I it? I doubt it. Maybe the key... No. no. Maybe the key opens the castle. Do you think? That would make yeah. sense. Can you go back down or no? Oh, maybe it's just an illusion. It is yeah, an illusion. Okay. okay. So let's get the key. Get the key, go back to the castle. Yeah. That is my suspicion. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man Red, I think you can go back down. Yep. Yep. Yep, just... yep, yep. So that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Because it... Or maybe it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be like, oh, let's see if you can go <laughs> through the door. It's... Is it real or not? Could be intentional because he did did change it on purpose like it was changed yeah. yeah keys are for castles for sure yeah so i think that's a good thing yep. to try oh yeah definitely yeah, acidic drop It's definitely, it's definitely challenging. Mm -hmm. Reminds me a bit of that balloon game where you're navigating yeah. through um, because crazy balloon, crazy balloon. I like crazy balloon. It's a good game. Yeah, hard. Yeah, hard. hard. But uh, uh, yeah, it's Similar. all navigating, navigating the spaces. So I would say come in from the left because that's the way the key is pointing. But mm, I don't maybe. know. Do you think you can get in there even? Oh, oh, there. Oh. Okay, that's What's the that? dragon. Down? That's the dragon. No, this is this is where he says, do not die. The sword? Yeah. Or the game will corrupt itself. Oh, and corrupt it. Oh! Um, what? It's a, is it corrupted now? I think that's now? the problem. Oh, will you get it permanently? Yeah. Oh, no. We'll try. What are you supposed to do with this, though? Probably fight uh, off the... Fight off the spider. Maybe yeah. get above the spider. Yeah, and drop it on the spider. Mm -hmm. Or no, it probably would automatically drop, since that seems to be what happens. Yeah. But, uh, or it may not work. It probably just won't work. Yeah. But we don't know, because he doesn't tell you what to do. Oh, you got him. Oh, okay. Oh, I think you just permanently have it. Oh, no. That's the problem. Can you poop it off? No. Can no. you die? Probably there forever. Oh no! <laughs> and you can't poop, so you can't get the the torch. Do we have to start from the beginning again? Yep. Oh no. That's fine. You know. Yeah. We can start over. It'll what? Be, it'll oh. be fast. Okay. <laughs> That's the beginning. Mmm. The uh, dragon steals your. Oh, you can. Kind of get a sense of what's going on. There's the bat. There's an egg on a pedestal. There's you. There's 
some blue thing. <laughs> oh, and then there's a dragon stealing your eggs. Yep. The spider room as the arrow design is wall on the wall is a hint. Ah, mm -hmm. yes, it does. So you just can't die between getting the sword. Where are you Oops. going? <laughs> between getting the sword <laughs> and um, killing the spider. Yeah. Which isn't too hard to do. No. You just have to make sure you do it. This will be this will be quicker. Because the uh, impulse is to press the button to flap really a yes. lot when you get that egg yeah. away from it. Yeah, because you think, you oh, there, it has weight. But you don't it's need to do that. <laughs> you just need to press to the right a lot and yeah, flap true. just a bit. Yeah. So it's really, really clever that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would be an incredible game with like adding, you know, 10 more eggs or something to it. You and know what? Extending the adventure. I, I know this is hard enough, but. <laughs> yeah, I find this. Uh... Oh. Uh -huh. um, this is the kind of game that could translate onto any platform, I feel. Yes. Like it's, a, it's a simple enough. Yes. A uh, simple enough game that, yeah, it'd be a great phone game and, as you say, one button press kind of game. Well, well you're moving back and forth, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. It's not a good phone game. Not for me, anyway. Some people love playing phone games with, like... Oh, with two... joysticks, like, on the screen kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know how they do those. Mm. I would definitely get a Bluetooth uh, controller if mm. I was going to play phone games, but I don't, I don't buy digital games, so... <laughs> I only buy physical games. So I have no phone games that I've purchased. But there's lots of free ones, so that kind of makes that point moot. Mm. Little red eyes. I like yeah, that. evil bat. Maybe he's not so evil. Mm. Um, so I can get him right now. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll get the egg first. Mm-hmm. I still don't know what the torch is for. Uh, yet. it right. might come because it, yeah, it might come later. Yeah. You do get a slight pause, so. Once you get the egg, I think it resets the slime. Yes. That's what's going on. Acid, it's not slime. <laughs> Dri dripping slime. Dripping that's why acids. It's, that's why it's not killing the egg, because it's slimy. It's just slimy, and the bird just doesn't like it. If it was acid, it would definitely eat through that egg. Anything would eat through that egg, dripping on it after a while, I think. Yeah, he should definitely just fix that one little bug. Where it resets the um, yes, resets is the that sword. if that's it? Everything else seems to work pretty pretty well. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely a bit of a that. delay. That's good. Yeah, yeah, everything else works really well. No, I didn't press. the egg it's not as bad if it hits you you're pretty much dead yes yeah the eggs forgiving hooray hooray okay now we're back to mm, all the eggs are done or the obvious For now. ones at least the obvious ones yeah now i have to do cuz that doesn't count down doing the other things does it i don't cuz it shows on the first screen on the eggs you have oh. to go yeah for sure these are just things you have to do. But don't In order actually. to get to more eggs, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So we don't know where the rest of the eggs are. Yeah, so then you want to get the gold That's right. bar. To get the key. And then come back. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I 
if I... Deliver the gold. Oh, yes. Deliver the gold. Then you get the key. And then you get the spear, which kills... The spider. The spider. And then you get the... And then who knows what. Oh, no. Yeah, the spear... What was the fire? We didn't figure that out yet, did we? No. <gasps> you have to poop on him. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Accidentally <laughs> ran into him. I know you didn't do that on purpose. No. But I got that part done. Yeah. At least. Now I just have to get to him. Ah, ah, ah. That's a skewered chicken. Sounds like an echo. Now I'll turn it down. I'll turn it down. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, if things aren't synced, like, precisely, the sounds through the microphone are going to sound like an echo or mm. reverb to people because they're getting the timing... Of from the game. From the game, yeah. Which is slightly kind of off. Slightly off yeah. time. Like, I've done my best to try and sync up the game. Um, and us, and everything. Like, there's multiple video and audio inputs going on at the same time. And you have to sync up everything. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening, if you're hearing that echo. And I usually try and keep the television um, quiet, or the game quiet, in, in studio. Don't hear it. Okay, poop on your head. Stop it. There you go. Alrighty. <laughs> so tight. So tight. This is the part you can't screw up. So just make sure you don't go down too far. Okay, really hover. I can get it so I don't. I'm not going to the right or left too much. So there must be something you have to do with it because it didn't disappear. No, it didn't. Well, or it's now that's what? Weird. I don't know. But you killed him. And it didn't disappear. So then, what's next? So. Do you kill this guy? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think he you can. He doesn't fly. He doesn't fly. Oh. Uh... No, there might be a reason. Can you? No. Oops. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on purpose. <laughs> you can't poop it out or anything. No, you can't. I'm gonna go back. Is there just anything to see anything else? That I need to kill? That's moving? Other than the, the spears and the bat. Killed the spider, so is there anything back up in that room? That's what. Oh, <gasps> oh that no. wasn't there? No, it wasn't. And you can't get it. <gasps> that wasn't there. Yeah. Was it? I think I think there's this is more than just a small bug. Because you I'm gonna read what he said again. Okay. But I'm pretty sure it says if you die mm. after receiving the sword, but before collecting it. You cannot complete the game and will need to restart. Be sure not to die at this time. But before collecting it. Collecting what? Collecting the egg? But the egg wasn't there on the screen, was it? There was no egg. No, because I, I, I take that sword. to mean you the sword is there, but you haven't picked it up yet. Yeah. That's what I yeah. take that to mean. Yeah. But you picked it up and you killed the spider and now it's still permanently stuck to the bottom of you. So the question becomes is how do you get rid of it, or can you? I don't 
think you can. He doesn't say what the bug is. Yeah. It just says you just don't die at this time. Pretty sure that was not worked on for very long, so game plan controls were not tweaked that much. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's possible this is just not gonna. You're not gonna proceed beyond this. Okay. I'm gonna reset because that's not gonna happen. Oh. And we're gonna try for the fire. Okay. Because that just is an egg, and you're done. That part. That was to get an egg. To get an egg. So what is the fire for? Exactly. Mm, okay. So I don't think we need to collect any of these eggs. Not technically, no. We just need to go get the fire. Like, we can ignore all of these eggs. Mm-hmm. Because it's all independent. Well, don't do that. <laughs> then at least we'll know what the fire's for. Audience Post says, DPC Plus was only released in 2011. Mm. And this is from 2011. Yes, it is. So it's an early implementation. Mm. So maybe that's why it's not mm. perfectly working on mm. the um, on the harmony cart. Mm. So now I have to light it. And then what do you do with it? Who are you supposed to set on fire or give fire to? It's nothing down here. Can you give it to that guy that you pooped on before? Well, maybe. He's, he's there. <laughs> maybe he wants it and I did it out of order. Maybe. No. He doesn't want it. <laughs> oh, you know what? In the original game, yeah. that flower comes really early. It looks like a flower at that point. Now it oh. has fire. And you defeat the bat with it. Oh, really? Yeah. But how would you do that? The bat flies at you. But it's not. It's not flying at you. Because you don't have a... I'm going to return it back home. <gasps> oh! 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 Maybe you pick up the egg. What are you doing? <laughs> pick up the egg, and then the yes. bat goes for you, and then maybe you have to direct the bat to the to the fire. Mm, maybe. Oh, Give it no. a try. Give it a try. I know what it's... where it goes now. Okay, yeah. it's still there. Good. Oh, it saves you. Oh, it stops the bat from going after you. Well, that's a lot of heartache. Ah, uh, interesting. Relieved. Excellent. So it makes, it makes the room first. bright. And then the bat doesn't see you, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Yeah, Pac-Man Red, I think it just stops oh the bat. Yeah, exactly. Um, interesting. So we're still not sure with the sword thing and the permanent I sword thing. I want to try thing. once more. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Just go to directly to the sword. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you we don't, don't need, need to. to do any you of don't this. need to do any of that. That's true. Because it's all independent. I always thought. I I was thinking like, oh, we have to do it all in order again. Yeah, you can kind of skip it. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't want that. Oh, what are you doing? That's right. Oops. Just go down. Go down. Don't get killed. Oh. <laughs> I tried to dodge, but it's too hard to dodge. Although I suppose you get more score when you get the eggs, and then yeah. it gives you more time to yeah, do so things. There's a lot but of time. There is a lot of time. So I can see the logic of, you know, getting them in order. Uh, but I would get that fire first, for sure. That'll save a lot of trouble. Okay. So. I do want to get this guy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's quite a lot of. Steps yeah, it's, in it's, this it, one. it is actually. A lot of steps in this. It's in not getting in, inconsequential. This one. It's a lot of things to do in a row. Yeah. There's an egg on his tail. What? Oh, that wasn't there before. That wasn't there before either. So that's one of the last eggs. Yeah, because you you did the what you needed to with the torch. Ah. Nice. This is a fun game. Damn it! <laughs> I like it. It's technically, I've like zero eggs. <laughs> Well, so there's one. Yeah, it's okay. Go back and do them all at the end if you really yeah. want to. There's number two. Yeah, and the bat won't go there's after you. There's number three. Mm -hmm. oh, He's pretty. Out. I really like the flappy bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like his red what, honeycomb on his head or little red <laughs> haircut he's got going yeah, on little there. red haircut. Brown pants. It's pretty cute. It's four. And there's one above. It's five. Oh yeah, you can touch the gold. That 
six. There's two more to go. Don't you think another one appears up here somewhere? Uh, probably at some point. Uh, <laughs> it'll still be fine. You can't go to the right at all, right? There's nothing there. No, I think I tried that before. No, it just, just ends. Okay. Just wondering. In the original game, that flower just kind of kills the bat. Ooh. Once. Once. Only once, though. I don't think it was fully implemented there. People going, oh my god, why do you keep dying? It is hard. It is not easy to do. This it's... momentum is killer. Yeah. Well, it reminds me of like, um... Where's that balloon? Crazy balloon. No, 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 no. The, with the two balloons and the guy. Oh, balloon flying. fight. Balloon fight. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's got it's got a lot of um, similarities in how the the flappy bird moves. Yeah. It's all modeled after Joust. Mm, originally, yeah. really. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> and. Uh... RC seventy says flapping is not the Joust sound. It's better than the Joust sound. <laughs> or the Joust one. So we used to update Joust with this sound. Yeah, it's a good sound. It is a very um, flapping type sound. Mm -hmm. Like um, something moving through air. Yeah, it's a good sound. on the touch on certain things at certain times. Mostly it's on the flapping at all times. <laughs> Very light. You tend to panic when you pick things up. Mm. Because, you because you're going down and you have to reverse that. Well, position. yeah, you have to not hit the ground, which is, 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 is actually quite challenging. <laughs> yes. This is, left. yeah. There we go. Okay. Now this is, yeah, we'll just see if you, you get stuck with it permanently. Yeah. Because that seemed to be what happened. And the egg didn't show up. And then when you came back, the egg was there, but you can't drop the sword, so. Yep. Yeah. It might have been an amount of time because I died pretty quickly after killing the, killing the spider, I think. Mm. I didn't wait around long enough, and it might have been a time thing. I don't know. Or the octopus or whatever the hell it is. Uh, it does look like an octopus, doesn't it? It's a it moves waggly like, arms. It moves like a spider, though. So. Yeah, and then it doesn't show back up. Now, the egg is supposed to be there. Yeah. Maybe I have to drop it over here? No. It poop would just it. drop. I can't poop it. Don't die. Someone said maybe you put the, the sword over that wall space, but, like, mm, I don't... Like all the way to the left? No, I think you're already over it. I'll go as far as I can. Uh, try going down and coming back up, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think this is a glitch. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. There but it I is. don't think you can pick it up. Maybe I exchange it. No, because you tried that before and you died. Oh, but that but I died. Hitting the ground. I think we're done. Yeah. I think the glitch is still there, and he he didn't. Cool. Overestimated the the how bad the glitch was. Yeah, because really it should disappear. I think when you kill the yes. the spider. Definitely, and the egg should appear at yeah. that point. Well, go to the bat. Maybe it'll take it. Maybe mm. the bat's pretty dormant now. Yeah, <laughs> but I'll do it. Let's Give see it a try. See if it works. Maybe take it to your nest? I don't know. Oh, maybe. Yeah. <sighs> oh, the bat's not interested. Yeah. 
I'll take it to the nest. I think you 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 re like you die and you it comes back. So I yeah. don't know. I'm stuck with this sword. Mm -hmm. I've gotten zero eggs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on, take it. Nope. Uh, Try that egg. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. I think, I think it is the end of it. That's a shame. It is. It is. Hopefully you can fix that. And, and when you do start. I still have it? Yeah. Yep. That's it. I'm stuck with this sword. <laughs> ah, I wish uh, you could fix this this one bug. RC70 says, get, get closer to the bat. I really want that to be the solution. Okay. Okay. I'll go to the bat, even though I've died. Scr oh, Scum Software. I post on the forum. You oh. need to return that sword to where you got it. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yay. The developer's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. That's funny. Excellent. Hooray for cheats. <laughs> well, yeah. Kind of cheats. Yeah, they're cheats. Helpful hints. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's one of those things where you just get stuck. You play a game and you just get stuck with it. <gasps> oh, oh, thank you. Whoops. Well, okay, now I can get all the eggs. I think so. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> thank you, Scum Software. Woot. My stream is lagging so, up yeah, like that. that but you, yeah, but you had sorry. good enough bandwidth to help us out. Yes. And that's what counts. <laughs> Seven. Yay. I think all the eggs are pretty set I up now. I think so, but uh, give it a girl. Give it a go. Yeah. By the way, Scum Software, this game is unbelievably yes, good. Yes, it is really it's fun. It's a great adventure game. Yes. That has so many components and little puzzles you yes. have to figure out. Yeah. Um. I could have figured that out eventually, maybe. Oh, sorry. I'm playing terribly. <laughs> That's okay. no, I'm so excited that we can actually finish the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because that would something be something that you could kind of figure out. It's like, oh, put it back where you got yeah, it from. Yeah, yeah. It is. Glad that bat thing is, is subsided. <laughs> I do not like that bat chasing you. It's very stressful. Six. Ah, nice. oh, bounced. Oh. <laughs> You're getting, uh, too excited now. I am too excited about all the eggs. Yeah. I think they're all revealed. Oh, so Scum Software says, oh, thank you. Revision 3 is actually much better so far, so stay tuned. Oh, excellent. Oh, I can't wait. Like, everything's really good in this. Like, the controls yep. are really good. Yeah, it's fun. Like, other it's than adding game. more to it, I don't know. Yeah. What it's else could be good. done other yeah. than fix that bug? <laughs> Well, it's not a bug if you're supposed to return it. But, not, oh, the other bug in, that you were talking about, yes. Yeah, if you yeah. don't pick it up yeah. before dying. Yeah. yeah. So, actually, the time when we thought we were done, we weren't done. We could have continued on if we returned that um, sword. The sword, yeah. Yeah, when we were set. So, we were actually fine. Uh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Uh, the one, the first time, though, it, it, uh, when I died... Um, right after getting it but before getting it did I, I don't know if I had you killed no you probably you might have been able to return it we just weren't yeah. able to try so yeah yeah i think you got it and died at the yes. same time so yeah. you might so have, I been would okay. have been okay yeah that's why it's only so yeah rc70 oh uh, says you got it and died, so I think oh, you probably would've, I would've been, been okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. This is why I only scheduled Practice. three games Practice. today. Because I knew this was a, a long one. Yeah. <laughs> and involved. Yeah. 
And it's also interesting that you can do this game in different orders if you want. It's I like that linear. a lot. You don't have to get the first egg if you don't want to. You no. can just go and, and... You can do the eggs. You can get that fire to yeah. um, keep the bat away. Or you can learn much later in the game that you could have done that much, <laughs> much, much earlier. Much sooner, yeah. That's and made okay. your life a lot we easier. We figured it out. We figured it out. Which is kind of an interesting way to do things. Yeah. Get there eventually. <sighs> Four. I don't think I got the egg in the octopus slash spider chamber. What is it? Is it an octopus or a spider? Or is it something else in that chamber? I think it's a spider off? because he refers to it as a spider in his in his uh, oh, correction. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. He does look somewhat octopus like, but He uh, does with his wiggly arms. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I, yeah, it's pretty cute. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll get this get one, that one. The drippy one's probably one of the hardest. It is. Definitely. Uh, because of the timing, but, uh... Very challenging, that one. Oops. And a reset. It resets, yeah. You gotta be careful doesn't there. Have, doesn't have a continual timer. All right. I kind of missed the red eyes of the bat. <laughs> He's sleepy now. Yeah. It's too bright in the room. Yeah, He's hiding his face. So I want to wake up. Spider. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. a spider. Wiggly armed spider. <laughs> <laughs> if only the cats were here. Oh yeah. Where are the cats? I'm gonna go they harass them in a second. Oh yes. Please. Three. Get so some there are water? three. You want water? There's I need a drink too. So should I? I want to kind of see you finish it though. Well, we can um, wait. Getting close. Yeah. I might get. You know, I, might, I might as well get it now. I, I I don't think you'll get all three. One in the spider. One dripping under the acid, but there's where's the third? It must be in the um, pitfall guy yeah. room. Maybe when you get the other seven. Hmm, yeah, it only reveals itself in the last. It's possible. I'm gonna get your glass in a second when you get back to the tree, because I don't want to. Okay. Run in front of the screen as you're. True. Maneuvering your flappy bird across. <laughs> Red crowned flappy bird. Yes. I I'm very proud of myself for accidentally pooping on one of the on, on one of the um the swords. Arrows. Yes, that was good. And uh, I would definitely suddenly getting a match. <laughs> definitely not include how to play this game in the game. No, no, it's because part you, of the fun it's, it's is the discovery to it of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, this returning the sword maybe is just us not figuring it out. Nobody yeah. in the chat could, but it's not. No, no, no. They, they, they. Uh, they? I guess Posa said I suggested returning it, but we probably just didn't see this. Oh, his. sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Somebody did, did figure uh, it out. Yeah. That's I don't okay. think that's too obscure. That. No. Oh, do you want to get my water now? Oh, okay. Oh. oh, don't step on things. Yeah. Precious things. Precious, precious things. I only have one left. All right, I'll be back. Okay. You can keep the door right. You can keep it open. Uh, Pac-Man Red. Hey, buddy, long time no long. Glad to see you again. You too. Pac-Man Red made the sprite for it and the bat. Oh, Pac-Man Red did an awesome job at the graphics on the bird. Like it's got three different directions: straight on, to the right, to the left, flapping to the left, flapping to the right and flapping straight on. So six different uh, animation sprites. Very, very good. And the bat, the uh, the touch with the red glowing eyes is so awesome. Let's go over to the bat and see if he still is interested in waking up. I don't think he is. He's just like super sleepy now. <gasps> what is that? It's a new bat. Oh, he's moved. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now there's... Oh, there's two of them now. Oh. Tricky. So this one's asleep. See, I, I noticed that bat. Only because he probably opened his eyes. 
Oh, my counter's going down. That's okay. I'll wait till Tanny gets back, and I'm going to show her that other bat first. I just have to hover in midair in this chamber here. But yeah, the uh, number of things you have to do and, and the freeform uh, open world kind of feel to this where you can do it in any order you want. Well, almost any order. You have to do some things in some order, but a lot of the eggs that are just there, you can do them in any order. But it's just really makes this, feels it, makes this game feel a lot more open and flexible. Yeah, revision 3 is coming and I am very happy to have gotten you back into looking at this game again oh I died, that's okay oh water I'm oh, so thirsty hi Atari, you're back she brought a cat back with her oh, oh so good I like how you, um, if you go up through the tree, well, you can't do it on this side, it's not enough room, you kind of climb up through the tree because it doesn't kill you. you go, oh, and it pushes you all the way up. So I guess the thing is, if, if bird touches tree, push upward, probably the trunk kills me, yeah. And I'm so glad you didn't put lives in this game. Oh, it'd be way too, way too challenging. I guess you could put it on hard mode and have lives, have a certain number of lives. Or one life? I don't know. Maybe that'd be too much. That's vodka. Uh, maybe hers is. Mine is just water. No vodka here. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. So what do we have next? We're going to be playing... Go Fish next. And that is a one-player and two-player game. Um, and it actually is, I believe, the first game to use the Atari box um, for both voice and uh, score recording. The chicken was made by me, Scum Software, and I was having issues making bats and spiders, so Pac-Man Red did them. He did a fantastic job. Oh, Pac-Man Red didn't, oh, very didn't nice. do the chicken. Okay. So, that was a long time you made me wait. Wait for what? To keep going. And as I was going, I did go in this room. <gasps> There's a sp- <gasps> There's a new bat ready oh, to go after you. Oh, he's ready to get ya. Yep. Do you and have I to noticed him. He's, he's there for the last two For eggs. the last two? Yeah. Oh, here's an Atari. Atari, why don't you come and say hi really quickly? Oh, he's purring. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is Atari. Our chubby gray cat. So there's one more underneath the acid slash slime. And then I'm guessing the last one is by... The, the other guy? Uh, pitfall dude. No! Oh, too fast, too fast. <sighs> to do with that bat. Fortunately, I just go really fast through this. So. But we'll see. I do have to slow down before those dropping things. Mm -hmm. RC70 says next cat's name should be Stella. Yeah, oh, that's we a pretty knew good somebody name. somebody with the cat name Stella. Yeah, yeah, we so did. So that's kind of taken. <laughs> I think Stella's still around, or is... Yeah. I think so. Uh, I'm not sure. So you're down to the last two. So this yeah. is one, and then the we question is... I haven't seen the last one, but I know mm -hmm. it's up there. You think? That's yeah. That's the only broom left. Well, we'll see when you get this one. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, the acid. So it burns! It's so scary it when you're going down that uh, you don't go down too fast. Mm, yeah, he's had enough. <laughs> he's had enough. Oh, flop. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <sighs> We're so close. <laughs> I'm distracting with cats. Oh, cats are distracting. 
He's a cute mm -hmm. cat. Always purring. I can feel him. Mm-hmm. Always, Always really so cold. happy. So happy. Atari likes nothing better than sitting with us when we're playing Atari. Yes. His favorite time. Remember, go up and over because you do have a tiny bit more time. Scum Software says you can do it. I know I can. We have actually done it <laughs> before. We've got that egg. That egg, yes. Yeah. We've just done them in a different order because we wanted to make yeah. sure we could do the stuff we hadn't done before first. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. that one is the hardest thing in this whole game. Yeah. Is that that egg? I think. Uh, it's pretty challenging. Yeah. I think that's the well. Place we'll see where, where the last the egg is. Well, that's true. Yeah. Don't. I'm sure the hardest one is left Don't kill last. your chickens before they hatch. Yeah. Well, oh, I hope all the... I hope the ending is little baby chickens. <gasps> right? <laughs> because you're getting all your eggs back. Yeah. Getting all your eight babies. All the babies. All the eight little fluffy babies back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's supposed to be a good ending. Ah! Uh, yeah. Reset! Watch out, you're gonna have to oh, deal. Oh, I know. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, he's not too bad. I'm gonna have to slow down. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Last one, folks. Woo! Let's see what ordeal this is. <sighs> we don't even know where the egg is yet. Good, good idea, of mm -hmm. course. Because there's only one room left. Maybe you have to wrestle it away from a dragon. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen the dragon. We've only seen him he up here. He just keeps popping, and popping there's, out. And there's the big statue to him. Yeah, but we had the egg from there. Oh, boy, yeah, I bet it's something to do with him. There's a lot of hints going on. Mm. He actually returns your eggs. It's kind of funny. Well, he Seems did in one case. Guy. And he Not gives really. You a sword. He hit them in the first place. So. And he gives you a sword. Very true. And he gives returns your egg. <gasps> uh huh. There it is. There's the last one. Is it this easy? Is it going to be something else? <laughs> no. He just hands it to you. I don't know. Pitfall Harry. Yeah. He's a touch suspect. Yes. Oh, oh, too fast! Too fast! Uh, <laughs> McAllister says, liking the colors on this looks like mesmerizing fun. It is. It is. It, it really it's makes really you want to finish game. the game. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, one of those games definitely. where it looks really easy to do, but it's not no. really easy to do. So it makes you want to finish it because you think, how can I be so bad <laughs> at just flapping my wings? How can I suck at this so much? Oh! <laughs> You can just press it one too many times because some of the your... openings are so they narrow. They are narrow, yeah. I like, I, like, I like all the obstacles. Yeah, they're so creative and mm -hmm. inventive. And the balance. And all different. Each room is different. Yeah, so. very different strategy you have to use for each room. Yeah, I like it a lot. And of course, there is the countdown timer. So, so there is there is there, that challenge too to get the highest score because yeah. that means you did it in the shortest amount of time. Yes. It's acid twice. Going through the acid is not that big of a problem. It's picking up the egg well while 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 doing it. Yeah, that's true. That opening should be open. <laughs> but I guess it <laughs> well, is, because that green is the bottom of the screen at all times. Yeah. So it doesn't, there is no open to be had. Careful. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. <sighs> Careful. Bye. 
Careful, don't go down too far. No, no, this is no, okay. reset. It's not the worst thing no. that could happen. There you go. Calm, stay calm. Then brush past the. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought, I thought you were by the tree. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, no. I completely Not yet. forgotten the, the. Oh, I didn't. Dripping cave. Nope. Last one. Yay! Yay! That's the end. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, baby. You? Question mark. Oh no! It's a. Oh no! It's the dragon. <laughs> I stole the dragon egg instead of my baby's egg. Aww. Oh, he's upset about the dragon egg. Oh, no. Is that like a bad ending? <laughs> Did I do it do in the wrong order? Quack. <laughs> Quack. Quack. You got a duck. Quack. Oh, oh. <gasps> I missed that. Stole my baby. <gasps> he stole my baby back. And I'm, I'm left with the... Part two. Part two. That's right. <laughs> left with the... Uh, the dragon Some baby. software. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Very good. That was very good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking forward to version three. Yeah. I suggest everybody download that and try it out for themselves. Mm -hmm. It is. That's a lot of fun. Although now you've watched it, you probably know how to how to get all the little. Uh, yeah, I mean you know the order and everything, okay. but it's still yeah. it's still hard and it challenging. Is hard. And you don't have to do it in the order I did. <laughs> but I do recommend it. <laughs> Doing that fire first. That's for sure. Yeah, incredible job. The graphics mm -hmm. are amazing, the sound is amazing. The design of the uh, player characters mm -hmm. and the enemies and the rooms and the rooms layout and the, colors and the way you have the... to go through them and back yeah. and it doesn't get and the control too boring. because it's challenging it's not easy you the all the momentum you yeah. get can just screw when you're you good over. at it you can do it really fast well yeah you were getting really good by the end but it's still hard yeah because it is. of the, the narrow openings that you have to go through yeah a lot so. of fun Thank you, thank you for supplying the game. Yes, thank, thank you, you for so developing much. it. That was yeah. a lot of fun. I to think play. Um, really that would good. do really well on cartridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would maybe add a couple more rooms to to make it. You think? To make it a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think it's it's pretty good. It's a pretty good yeah. sit down and play game. As it, it is. is. Yeah. Like how long did it take? About an, but uh, an hour. Hour and a half. An hour and a half to yeah. fully, fully, fully complete it. Yeah. No, that was good. So yeah. yeah. I guess he it does have a hard level as well. Yeah, I bet that's impossible. Yeah, I think I don't know what it does. Things fly faster, or oh, you should try it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it in Stella? You can uh, flip the switches. Uh, yes. Which mm. which is the switches? Do you, does anybody remember offhand? Uh, do I have? Oh yeah, left switch to A puts it in pro mode. Mm. Are we playing it on the on Stella? Uh, yeah, because it doesn't work on Harmony Card. Okay. Mm. Still eight eggs. Same controls. Mm -hmm. I'll just try and get this egg to see if there's any. Um, oops. Oh, up also flaps. That's why it's flapping sometimes. Oh. I would get rid of that because really? I accidentally do that sometimes when I don't mean to flap. Oh, maybe that's. And that's what's been. Or just keep me. your finger off the button. Uh, I find pressing the button for flapping much easier. So this is hard mode. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> what do you mean? Because. You haven't changed on the on the computer. Yeah, that's right. I yeah, because you you flipped the switch in the Atari, and I was wondering what you were doing. Being silly. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have to reload. Maybe. Okay. There we go. What is... Whoa. Oh, lives. You have three lives. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, he's hatching. What? Oh, cute. What is this? Oh, oh. he hatched. Oh, that's Oh, you have cute. to manually hatch him in hard oh, mode. Oh, <laughs> I like that's that. funny. That is very cute. How is the movement? Uh, movement's the same. I wouldn't expect that to change. Uh, it's no heavier. The eggs aren't heavier or anything. Eggs are still the eggs. Gravity's the same. 
you have to drop it? Nope. No, I just wasn't over the top. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you have to hatch. Ah, come on. You have to wiggle. Wiggle back and it says, forth. says, break out left, right, fast. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's funny. I bet the bats are like... Insane. Insane. Insanely fast. Yeah, pick up the egg just to see. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to get the fire before yeah. you get that egg because that's going to make a huge difference, right? Yeah, that's... Definitely have to get the fire ah. first. Skin Software says uh, score turns blue in pro mode. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Mm -hmm. It's like a track and field thing to break out of your egg. <laughs> that's a bit much. Woo! Oh, that's Woo! hard. Woo! I want to see the um, the arrows. I bet those are really fast and oh, terrible. Oh, yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter because you... Whoa! Oh, that's not too bad. Up, 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 down, down, and down, down. you just follow it. Yeah. yeah. That's not too bad. Okay. I bet some other things are hard. And... Hmm. Like the dripping slime is yeah, probably Yeah, it's probably faster. fast. I bet the spider's faster, too. That one's not really a concern because you just get above it. I don't know. That's the same. I guess it would be too challenging it to make yeah. it faster. Let's just see all the screens. No? Okay. So it's a bit more challenging, but mm. not impossible. I, th I bet the second bat would be the hardest thing in the pro mode because you can't yes. stop that second yeah. bat. Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. Cool. Uh -huh. Update from July 17th. July 13th. Um, yeah, mm. that's the one we're playing. This is version 2 of the mm. game. Okay. Next. Oh, it's back. So now we're going to play Go Fish, and it is a two-player game. Okay. Um, but it, we're going to play one player first for a very short period of time. Um, because there's voices in it, and if you play two-player, the voices go away. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Okay. Because you have to plug in two-player, two joysticks. Let's put that back in. Excellent. Hi, Tari. Oh, How's it going? Okay. So, game number two. Go fish. There we go. So, oh, yeah, you need that on the screen, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's not going to help me. <laughs> so, go down to today. Oh, yeah, you didn't hold down the button. Sorry. Nope. You didn't indicate I needed to. So. You see it on the screen? There you go. Uh, God, Erlen trained so well. <laughs> well, down the button. you kind of flipped it before I was. I realized you were doing it. So, so. this is uh, Go Fish by Bob Montgomery, a.k.a. V-Dub Bobby. First posted uh, January 18th, 2005. Mm. Uh, always NTSC. Uh, I unless can't I remember specify. which one we have. <laughs> yeah, I should know, but... Yeah. Well, you don't. You didn't really deal with PAL or NTSC no, in your life, no. so when you deal with video games, it's, you're always thinking about that, and, PAL and NTSC. different games are yeah. released in different regions, like, oh, I should get a PAL uh, Sega Genesis, <laughs> well, it's called Mega Drive, and it's all, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, especially with Commodore 64, because a lot of things were made in Europe, mm. and if you didn't have a European... Commodore 64? Commodore 64, you can play their games and their demos on your NTSC hardware mm. which all the good stuff was made there for demos okay so this is uh go fish um it was put out on cartridge in 2005 and you can just press the button and it's very simple oh fish oh this. no this this is not starting in the right mode we have played this before we have not i'm positive we have or have we played I a looked, very similar game i think a very similar game okay oh so you're tiny, and you have to eat... Yeah, fish of equal or smaller size. Yes. I, I looked. I thought we played it too, but I looked through all of the archives, and you sure? it, I didn't list it anywhere. I don't know. This seems I don't remember very playing two player. similar. I don't remember the Atari Vox voice. I think it's very similar to another game. It says, go fresh. You should have heard it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the size is 8K. Other games made by uh, Bob Montgomery is Elevators Amiss, Go Fish, Go Fish 1K. So it's not exactly the same as the, ga the game you played, and I know that because of these jellyfish or whatever oh, they're supposed they to be. They weren't there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, M4, Ram Defender, Ram Racer, Ram Vaders, Rung Man, Squish'em, Tank Maze, Wumpus Hunt 2600, and plus a number of hacks and demos. And this is available in the Atari Age store or in the Atari Age forums. Um, and I don't think Bob Montgomery will be joining us um, because he has not been on the Atari Age forums since uh, February of this year. Okay. And he's only posted twice in the past seven years. Oh. So he's pretty pretty rarity, even though he's made a lot of games. But he's an old school guy in the forums, so nice. You know, it's not gonna be around forever. Some people, not like that. But I mean. <laughs> Uh, he's not going to be hanging around forever. Some people are like, oh, that's done. I've dedicated yeah. 15, 20 I years to, to homebrew. I understand. Yeah, but you never know. Well, you're, you're, the things you like doing, they kind of come and go. So. Yeah, they change. Um, so this is very similar to a game called Shark Shark on the Intellivision. Mm. Um, but this game was actually based on a Flash game called Fishy. Um, and I do have a YouTube video of Fishy. Fishy. Oh my god, I've been yelling outside. Mm -hmm. Children. Small children. Small children. <laughs> um, info from the store. Go Fish is an original game loosely based on the television game Shark Shark. Um, it wasn't really. <laughs> it morphed into that because everybody knew Shark Shark. Mm. And so they were suggesting things to make it more like Shark Shark oh, as the time so went on. Oh, that's so funny, yeah. But he actually based it on a Flash game to begin with. Mm. Oh, James, this is the hidden game on the 2005 minigame multi-cart, so I'm sure you played it on the show previously. Yes. We probably pay played the 1K version, though. Yes, we did. We did. That's 1K why. games, that's what it was. Yes. So we didn't play this version, and I don't think the 1K had to two-player option. So this is at least different. So we did. And it didn't have the music, I don't think, either. Mm, I don't remember music, yeah. So good memory arena foot. Yes. Oh, Lem McAllister also said that just after that as well. Did you play the 1K version on the 2005 minigame Multigard? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, Shark Shark came out way before Atari Flash. But the author had actually never heard of Shark Shark. Um, actually, a lot of people are mentioning Shark Shark for the Amico that's coming out. Oh. And they're like, as long as it has Shark Shark, I'm buying really? it. Really? That is Because so... it does have Shark Shark and a remake. Oh, that's An fun. updated um, version of it as well. So that's going to be a big selling point for, <laughs> for uh, old school gamers. Oh, it just got bigger. So it's always Slowly. good to get, oh, I think that is the shark, that gray thing. Possibly. So it's always good. To, oh, are you the same size? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's always good to get the biggest fish possible. Yeah. Because you increase. Well, you just get one point for each. No, nope, you get more points for the bigger ones. Do you? Yeah. Let me get you. He's fast. Let me get you, fishy. Get you, fishy, too. Uh, you are a wee fish. And to survive, you must eat other smaller fish to grow. But watch out for the shark. He's also on the hunt for food. And you could be his next meal. Mm -mm. Go Fish features extensive, continuous playing music. I don't know about extensive. But... No, it's, it's continuous. It's continuous, but I don't know about extensive. <laughs> extensive, um, continuous. With an option to turn it off for those who'd rather do their fishing in quiet. The little fishy we got scared We may have to do me. that in a bit. Oh, did he run away? Yeah, the little oh. fishy went. Ah! Oh my god! Yeah, they're like, you're too big! You're way too big. You're definitely going to eat me. Cute. Ice Posta says, I bought in television too because of Shark Shark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro nice. Programmer Bob Montgomery teamed up with Atari Age to sponsor a contest to create the original artwork for Go Fish. The winning label uh, from Renato Brito will grace all copies of Go Fish, as well as the full color manual. You can download the latest version of Go Fish and follow its development in our homebrew discussion mm -hmm. forum. Includes cartridge with uh, Renato Brito's label and a full color manual designed by Tony Morse available in NTSC and PAL formats, so you can buy this right now if you like it. Ooh, electric eels. Mm -hmm. uh, Atari Vox Enhanced. Go Fish was one of the first homebrew games to support Richard Hutchinson's Atari Vox. 
Goatfish takes advantage of the Atari Vox to save your high score, which is retained when you turn off your Atari 2600. When you come back later to pay, play Go Fish and power on your 2600, your previous high score will be restored. They said to explain it a lot in the beginning. People didn't know what it was about. Mm -hmm. um, so let's take a look at the manual. Let's see what it says. Can you be the shark in Shark Shark? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, eat or be eaten gameplay. You begin with a small fl fish. There are two game modes and several skill levels. Using controller, you know how to do that. Uh, TV type to black and white to turn off the music at any time. So if anybody out in uh, watching this is really sick of the music, just let us know, and I'll I'll just turn it off. It's not too bad. It's not too bad yet. Um, so on the title screen, press game select to choose between one player and two player, which we'll play next. And uh, the game select is not used during the game. The left difficulty switch, which we did have turned on, uh, oh, sets the starting size of your fish. Mm. So we're going to set it expert when we play. So you're player. a big, you're a big. You start fish. a bit bigger because it's a lot harder. Um, mm. Like there's momentum. Have you noticed that? A little bit. When you're a bit bigger, there's it's harder to turn around. Yes. And you have a higher top speed though. You're able to move quicker. But you're able to, you're not able to turn around as fast. Oh, you're a big fish now. Oh, one just ran away. Yeah, that one. There you go. I don't think there's a shark yet. It was just a big gray fish. I thought that was the shark, but that's nowhere near big enough. Oh, he's not running away yet. Uh, game variations. There are two main ones. In the one-player game, see how many fish you can eat in the ocean as you avoid larger fish and dangerous sea creatures. Set the left difficulty switch. Choose your fish's starting size. Eat enough fish and your fish will grow bigger. Blah, blah, blah. In the two-player game, see who will be the first to score 10 points in a battle against your opponent. So it's not about growing. Mm. It's about points. Um, score point every time your opponent is eaten by you or another fish. So you can eat your opponent, too. Uh, and it's the same with the difficulty switch. You can set um, the starting size. Uh, when you swim into your opponent and your fish are both the same size, you bounce off each other. Interesting. Um, if one of your fishes is larger, the larger fish will eat the smaller fish. So at first, you can't eat each other. You just bounce off. Interesting. Run! <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> Uh, after being eaten, your, flat fa your fish will have about four seconds of safety from your opponent's fish. Note during this time, your fish is not safe from the other people. Um, so, uh, 1 point, 2 point, 4 point, 7 point, 10 points, which you are at now, I think, is the 10 points. And it says beyond that is question mark. You have to be aware of the jellyfish. Mm -hmm. um, jellyfish secretes poisonous fluid directly through its skin that will instantly kill anything it comes in contact with. Mm -hmm. The electric eel has 6,000 volts mm -hmm. running through its veins, which makes them deadly to the touch. And the shark, which you haven't seen yet, I don't no, think. No, probably have to get to a certain size. Probably the next size. Mm -hmm. Sharks, sharp teeth, and quick reflexes are more than a match for any ordinary fish, no matter the size. Oh, Scum Software just subscribed. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Scum Software. <laughs> Scum Software. Oh, yeah. Uh, subscribe for two. Oh, they subscribed for two months. Oh, oh. this is your second month. Thank you so much for yeah, resubscribing. Awesome. He says, "Ah, there we go. Can't believe it's been a month already." <laughs> Time flies, eh? Yolo, in this, you can rest in the plants. You can. Ah, can you? You can kind of take a break. Oh, if you Nothing need to go to the bathroom you. or take a drink of water. <laughs> get you. Hmm. Gotcha too. <laughs> I don't know if that's very good because you could just hide and then no. just go up whenever yeah, but, there's. But you're gonna miss all the other stuff. So. True, but there's no time limit. So really, oh, you're playing it dangerously now. Me? No, no, not at all. Well, that's a fast one. <laughs> um, Atari Vox Go Fish supports the Atari Vox available through Atari Online Store. You can use your Atari Vox to hear speech during gameplay. Um, I only heard one thing so far. Uh, go fish will save and blah, 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 blah. Yep, tips and hints. If you need a breather, you can hide safely in the reeds growing in the ocean floor. 
Beware the left and right sides of the ocean. Enemy fishes and worse can appear without warning from the murky depths. Know thy enemy. Learn the behavior and appearance of other creatures inhabiting the sea. Oh, you're pretty big now. Those are like whales. Oh my god. Yeah, you're, you just grew, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of big ones. Mm -hmm. oh, Boy, oh, whoa. whoa! Yeah, you don't see that right away because he's flashing. He's flashy. Oh, you know why? Because he's the same color as that level. Mm -hmm. And that's why you can see the, the eels there, but you couldn't mm -hmm. see him up there. Interesting. If you're playing two-player mm -hmm. go fish with growing enabled, try and grow as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Even at the cost of being eaten a few times. The advantage of the larger... Yeah, you don't have... I guess the two players, you can continuously play. But one player, you die. You only have one life. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh it's over. You squished me in the corner. Time for two players. 1,068? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Starting from a little teeny tiny little guy. So, do you want to start big... What? I think we should start. Big is well, probably, big is... it'll take lot, like, it depends how long a game you want. Bigger is better because there's more to I avoid. the other one you don't grow. I think we should start tiny. Mm -mm, mm. I think, t well, so, wait, do you tack each other? You go after yes. each other? Yeah. And in the other setting, I don't it's think you foot. grow. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Ready? Ready. Press the button. Okay, I am in the right hand side. I am the lighter, I'm the blue fish. Oh my god, it starts off crazy. There's the shark. Oh. It starts off crazy. Like with all sizes of Yeah. Of things. And there's nothing to eat. Oh, there's one thing and you're gonna get it. Oh. <laughs> I have zero points. Do I have to eat uh, you? Yeah. But I so think we, we just bounce. Bounce. <laughs> mm, bouncy, bounce, bounce. Bounce. <laughs> right now we're. F yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, you, you can't came up die. From the bottom. No, no, no. You can't? If you no. die, the other person gets a point. Ah. Uh, so you can either accidentally die or. Bump you oh, into somebody. I see. Oh, you just died twice. Yeah, because I floated careful. up. Yeah. Interesting. You float up? Yes. You or do you float up because you're on the bottom? No, you, you can stay on the bottom. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Whoa, the bounce. The bounce makes you lose control. Yeah for like about a second and a half. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. now oh. we know the tactics. <laughs> oh no! Ha <laughs> ha! This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to make sure you bounce in a safe direction and try and get the other person to bounce in a not so safe direction. <laughs> like that. Oh! No, I don't want to be on the end. No! <laughs> no! Oh! How did you survive that? Oh! Oh! oh the shark got you. <laughs> ah. Funnies. Funnies. <laughs> so, mean. So, mean. so mean. So mean. Yep. Mean, mean, mean. That's the name of the game. Chasing you. Chasing yeah, yeah. you. Oh! Oh, that was close. <gasps> Damn <laughs> it! Damn it. Gotcha. Three to four. Oh, the eels turn around. I guess yeah, some, they do. Some things turn around, I guess. Mm 
Can people differentiate the, between our colors? It's pretty close. Yeah, I'm the lighter gray. Ten is the darker gray. Ah! Oh yeah. Oh, you got me. Oh yeah. Oh. Big whale. Oh, the, the octopus comes after you a little, a little faster when he sees you. <gasps> Come back here. I haven't been eating, so. I know I have. Oh, damn it. So you wait. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm in trouble. You I better start eating some things. Wait. Oh no! No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh. Shark, shark, nope. shark. <gasps> How come every time <laughs> I'm on the bottom <laughs> and I run into you, I bounce upward? That's because you're player one. <gasps> that is wrong. <laughs> oh, that is so mean. Somebody has to bounce up. Actually, I'm pressing down, so I wait until I'm I get I'm thinking big. it's interpreting as me. I'm beneath you. You just it's very tactical. Come on, come here, come here. Oh yeah, let's let's bounce, let's bounce. Hey. Stop your eating. <laughs> Stop your eating. You just wait. Oh, I want that fishy. Ho 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 ho! Uh oh. New twist to go fish. <laughs> oh no, no, no. No food for you. Ooh, almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> oh! Back for you. Oh, I actually pushed you out of the way of the shark. Mm. Oh. oh. This is another good two-player game. I don't know how interesting it is to watch, but it is a lot of fun to play. <laughs> What is it? To ten, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm. So... Seven to four. For me. No. Yeah, the food is far and few between. Maybe we don't get big. Damn it. Haha. <laughs> well, maybe we don't. Been eating a lot. I would have thought I would have leveled up at some point. Yeah, we'll try briefly the other setting. Because otherwise, what's the point in eating if you're not going to get bigger and be able to eat the exactly. other person? Exactly. Yeah. You've been eating quite a bit enough to. Eat. I would have thought. I'm just saying. I would have thought. I love that you're chasing me the whole time. <laughs> get away. I'm trying to get you. Get you. No. Oh, you almost. Could have so got me. Close. Could have got me. See, I'm not getting bigger. No, and the second you do, I'm in huge trouble. Yes. Haha. But, but it says you can. It says you can, but maybe. Maybe know. we're not on that level. Maybe. Or on that switch. See? Eating, eating, nothing. Graphics are very, very, very simple. Monoco monochrome. Um, colors for each of the enemies and for us, but the gameplay is really good. Mm -hmm. Some people in the forum suggested you have a he include a button that you have like a supercharged fast getaway thing. Oh, that, that only, would be fun. That yeah. only works once in a while. Yeah. Damn it! Seven to seven now. Uh oh! Get him! Ah. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Up from behind. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Damn it, I should have stayed away from those eels. Get that fish. Yeah, if you get bigger Damn before it. me, then 
that's no. That You've been eating be right. way more than I have. be on the level where you don't I think so. increase in size. It just seems very strange. Right difficulty B will not grow the fish. Mm. Oh, can I switch it mid-game? Okay, I'm going to come to the bottom. <laughs> RC70, when does it end then? When you hit 10? When you hit 10, we're very close. See, I always bounce upwards. Yeah, what is up with that? I think it's just you are player one Woo! I'm player two. No, you probably have to start the game with that. It's just... Because oh. we would have grown instantly if it was... Uh, if it checked the difficulty switch. It must have been a, a one-time setting at the beginning of the game to check for it. But we're going to play... After this, the... Starting off big already version of this. We're not even this. We're not even the smallest size. We have one up from that. Well, we're not the smallest, but we started at the size. Yeah. We didn't start at the smallest size. I guess it didn't want that completely. Damn yeah. it! One more. One more. Oh. Oh. I was I was safe for a tiny bit. <laughs> Come out of there. Mm -hmm. Get out of there! <laughs> can't hide in there. Yes, Whole I can. Time. <gasps> oh, so oh, close. Oh, that was close. Get him! Hiding again. Ah. Uh. No. Uh, <laughs> down. Damn it. Oh, get him! Get him! <laughs> any of whale. them? Any of them? You get him! <laughs> <laughs> it does come to a point where you get pretty good at well it, so. yeah and it's like i think you should sacrifice yourself just so we hit, hit we go to the end you know you sacrifice yourself <laughs> three times <laughs> you only need to sacrifice yourself once <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. no <laughs> it's totally unfair why do i bounce upward all the time i think that's an unfair advantage to you Quite high enough to hit a small fish, but if a big fish comes by, okay, I'm gonna die. Yay! Yay winner and loser. <laughs> okay, switch it to starting with big fish. Press button. Oh, we're huge, and you died. Hmm. Mm. God, this is not easy. Hmm. Weird. You don't hit each other initially. No, it gives you four seconds of... Uh... Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Oh, I don't bounce you up now. Ah! 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 Oh, I survived! Oh my god. How... Oh my god. Yeah, this is the, definitely... definitely the harder level. <laughs> oh. Just constant death. Ah! <laughs> constant, constant death! death. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's definitely harder when you're bigger. And things are moving super fast. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I survived. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. No! No! Ah! Oh. Into the shark you Meanie. go. 
You have an unfair advantage still. See, oh, I, I bounce upwards. Ha, ha, ha. Oh man. Got to get out of here then. Quit yes, hiding in the weeds. <gasps> oh. Winner. <laughs> there we go. So if you want a quick game, that's the one. That is definitely a quick game. Okay. <sighs> Time to move on mm -hmm. to our uh, challenge of the night, which is Activision's Sky Jinx. So let's give that a go. And this is a timed game. And I didn't even have to clean it. It just worked right away. It's amazing. First time. Okay, so Sky Jinx is a game by, let me get my notes up here, Bob Whitehead of Activision, like I said before. It was put out in 1982. It's a 2K game. Look at those beautiful mm -hmm. shadowed graphics. Nice. Really yeah, nice. nice. Lovely tree shadows there. Oh, yeah. Um, and we have to make, we have to get this run in 37 seconds. That's what we have to complete it Okay. In. This run. So is it one level? It's just one? It's just on one level. Any level. But I no, it's a game one. You have to get it in 37 seconds. Okay. Or less. Okay. Um, Sky Jinx is a vertically scrolling air racing themed video game developed by Bob Whitehead for the Atari 2600 video game console and published by Activision in 1982. Mm -hmm. Other games he made, Home Run, a baseball game, Football, Blackjack, Casino, Starship, Video Chess, Boxing, which is an awesome fun game, Stampede, which we got, I got the patch in, Chopper Command, which I'll have to get the, the patch in, Private Eye, which I've never heard of or played, hmm. Mm -hmm. Skiing, and Sky Jinx. And for the Commodore 64, he made Fourth and Inches, which is a football game, and Hardball, which is an amazing baseball game. I played a lot of that um, when I, uh, back in the 80s. Mm. Uh, okay, so um, it's pretty straightforward game. I think you can press the button to start going. Nope. It's one of those. Um, <laughs> and it's a short game, so there's yeah. going to be a lot of resetting. Yeah, it's fine. Um, the controls are left, right, and I think the button speeds up, and you just let go of it to slow down. So I will have okay. the manual. Well, we'll play with it a little. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he says, that tree is using the sliding sprite trick. So what am I yeah. doing? Oh, you have to go to the right of the red ones and the left of the blue ones. Oh, well, that... The right of the red and the left it's of the blue? One. It's slow. One. Oh my gosh. Right of the red, left of the blue. Left of the blue. Oh there you go. Goodness. Now it's counting down. Uh, turn up the volume a little bit here. Do you have to get a perfect. Uh, if you miss one, you don't get the oh point. Oh my goodness. Right? I can't even do it without speeding up. <laughs> well, definitely practice first. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How you need to almost just memorize to go it. Well, there's no memorize, it's just left and right. Right? How do you even get them? You have to go immediately over as soon as possible. And cut the corner as quickly as possible. So seven, six left. Oh, it just gave up. It's like, nah, you're done. Hmm. Okay, let's do that again for you. Yeah, well, it's the first time I've played it, so. That's true. What is it, left it's of the right? It's double red? wide, but parts look single wide. Uh, Oh, I see what you mean. So it starts the sprite off at different right to the right red. So our red, right red, and blue left. Oh, the sliding sprite streak. Uh, it's double wide. Yeah, it's really well done. Parts of it are single though. Isn't that the top of the tree is a single? Then it gets double. It gets double lower oh, on geez. because it's wider than eight. But because yeah, it's really, really clever. Definitely doing better this time. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the whole hint of, oh, it's a slalom. Oh, okay, <laughs> that helps. That helps. <laughs> oh, jeez, I don't know how you get through those. It's going to go right away, immediately. Ugh, right into Dodge the tree. Right through the tree, yeah. Yeah. There you go, you got them all done this time. 53 a seconds. Market improvement. Yeah. From 110. So, uh, pre flight jitters. Dumont got you edgy. I have no idea what that means. 
settle down, you'll do just fine. Maybe it was relevant in the 80s. Dumont? Is that a, a course that f flyers do? No, I don't. Uh, you'll do just fine, but please read the manual before takeoff. It'll help put your nerves on autopilot and give you some real pointers on piloting to victory in the coveted Thompson Trophy. Nice. The objective of Sky Jinx is to race through your P-41 through the pylon course in the shortest possible time, without hitting pylons, yeah, good trees, luck. or balloonists. What, who left all the who let all the balloonists on the course? Yeah, no kidding. Like that's not a good Jeez. idea. So this is game one, the Polo Grounds, 25 pylons. Then it has a 50, 25. a 70, 50, a 75, and a 99, and a 99. Hmm. Um, the Thompson Tourney is the last one. Yep, I wish they made the button yep. reset it. <sighs> uh, difficulty switches. Oh, yes, we might be in uh, difficult mode, possibly. Is that what we're supposed to be in? Uh, only the left is used in the position trees are randomly placed in your path along with the left difficulty switch in the B position trees are removed from the direct flight path. So you're in the harder but what am I supposed Tree to be playing in, in for the score? Uh, anything. It doesn't. It doesn't specify. But we'll really? do it on the easy. E easy. Believe me, easy is not easy. Oh, easy is way easier. <laughs> Even though I've screwed up here, but it, it is actually way easier. Yeah. Because the other ones are right in your flight path. <laughs> That's what it said. Yeah. Yeah. Trees are f placed in your flight path on yeah. level A. Oh, right into it. I know. I'm looking ahead instead of looking at my pylons. <laughs> You did it better. I did better. It was uh, definitely easier. Cat, you gotta learn. Should I put treats on the game reset or something? Oh yeah, you gotta train them. Yeah. Uh, Pylons, you must fly to the right of the red and left of the blue. There's a three second penalty each time you fly on the wrong side of a pylon. Your py so it's better to crash. Well, it takes no. about three seconds to recover anyway. It's three, th three second recovery. So you're saying the button does something or no? Yeah, the button speeds you up a little bit to make you go a little bit faster around the course. But also it makes it harder because you have less time to go to the left or right. So it's kind of a balance between... Yeah, but if you're, if you're already on course, it doesn't really matter. Ah. There you go. Better. Slowly. You only have to shave off 11 more seconds. 11 more seconds. Ugh, yeah. Oh my god. Reset! <laughs> it's okay. okay. Yeah, reset oh it. Oh my reset god, it. what is that? No, because like? I, gave, I gave up. There we go. You <laughs> gave up. Yeah, I'm playing with the button too, so. Yeah, because you to, um, to get that score, you will have to do it with the button. Oh, Maybe yeah. not all the time with the button, but No, but a it's lot hard to time. judge. Oh. It's hard to tell. Like, I'm not sure sometimes if I'm going to make it across. Join the Activision Sky Stars. If you can beat a time of 37 seconds in game one without oh, missing any pylons, you can join our Activision Sky Stars. Just send us a picture of your television screen, along with your name and address, and we'll roll you in the honored club. RC70 is how the heck is the plane shadow done without flickering past the other sprites? Ooh. That is a good question. It may be drawn with something that is not a player. Uh, most likely. It could be done, drawn with, um, well, it wouldn't be the play field. It could be drawn with a ball, um, or it could be drawn with a missile, which is what I'm guessing, if because it's not flickering. Now, I have to look at the plane and see how wide it goes, because you can make a, a ball or a missile eight wide, I don't think any of the shadow is it more than eight wide, so I'm pretty sure that's how it's done. Those Activision people are pretty clever about it. Oh, I'm kicking ass this time. Yeah. Oof, no. You just no, no, it's not hesitation. You're trying to avoid the balloon. I think that's when you need to use the button. Mm, to speed ahead of it. Yeah. But that's kind of memorization. I think it is the same track each time. Yeah, it is. It's the same track. I'm not sure if the obstacles are the 48. same. So that was not using the button at all, and I hit oh, one pylon. 
It so said three you, second penalty. Or so if you need thirty, so if 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 it's a three second penalty, I would have done it in forty five. Missing without. a pylon is a three second. Yes, and I haven't missed anything. Okay. Well, I hit a pylon, so I missed it. I don't know it. if that counts. As yes, missing. it would. It it definitely slows you. Yeah. So. Oh, Arena Foots, out of here. All right. Have a good good night, night, Arena Foots. So by that, you have to use the button to get oh, thirty seven. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah for Because sure. I I basically just did it without using it, so. You can, you can give it a try if you want. Right. Oh, you'll have to press reset for me then. Oh, no, yeah, it starts at zero. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. So, I yeah. practiced a little bit on this. Oh, oh see, see, the truth comes out now. <laughs> Just um, to see. Yeah. But definitely you need the button. Ugh, thought I got that one. Yeah, you really, you can't hit any, or you're not going to make it. Forty-one. Not bad, actually. But That's you were my using best the score. Button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two of them. Yeah. Oh Try it again. You'll probably get three. Oh, yeah. Yep, you got it. It's your job, unfortunately. <laughs> and you're not playing. Yeah. And we're doing these. I know, it's true. You just want to sit on the floor right by it, right? Like that's what you used to do in the day. Your friend would sit well, on the floor and. Well, no, it would. They be weren't here. extended. That's very yeah, true. They would that's be very here. True. Very, very true. So I can't hit any, or it's pointless. Continuing. Yeah. Ugh, taking them too wide. It's hard not to because ah! if you go too fast around the corner, you will miss them. Yeah. Because you do want to cut them really close. one so far so we can see how much better it is. Nope. So, nope. Oh. So I got 41 and that one where I hit two. Yeah. Same. 41. And I hit three things. Yeah. Ready to go. I feel this is definitely doable though. <laughs> oh yeah I came within three seconds and I hit two things. So That's why I picked it. <laughs> yeah, it failing, seemed appropriate. Failing yeah. at so many Activision patches lately. I'm like, no, I'm going to get one. Got to get one. Ah, yeah, that you one. Got right, in your, right in your way. Oh, so close to 39. That I was good. That was good. Yeah. Damn it, reset, oh. please. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to put up with any crashes. It's pointless. So I should just sit by the Atari and so. Eventually, you might want to. <laughs> yeah, that balloon. That balloon. Ah! Just reset. I mean, you can sit in this chair and I can turn it around. That's okay, I can sit on the floor if I have to. Okay. I will sacrifice my seat. Maybe this a cat. Balloon. That balloon. That balloon, you have to slow a little bit more as you go around that corner. Okay. I am just going to sit here. Okay, what, what, wait, wait, wait. You're sitting on the things. No, okay. No, okay. Careful. I can just get in pull place. on things. Ready? Oh, you can just reset. It doesn't start right away. Okay, I know. Am I on the screen? Oh, you're on the webcam. That'll Hello. work. I'll just turn it this way so we can hear both of us. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> That's All funny. Right. Okay, I'm good. Let's go. I'm good. Oh, reset it again. It's already reset. You don't have to press it. Well, you just said go again, so yeah, I hit the sorry. reset. This balloon. Oh, it's this one. That one. Okay, press it again. Some you can hold down the button the whole time.
because they're close enough together. Yeah. Oh, watch this guy. Oh, so close. Oh my goodness! Thirty-seven is hard. That was like a perfect run. No, I was taking them wide. Yeah, but you're doing pretty good. You're a second off. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Just press it again. I don't know why it started. All I kind of hit it really fast. Maybe that's what did it. The plane and shadow are player one and player two. The trees and pylons are ball. Oh. oh. The part of the balloon is the missile. Part of the balloon is a missile. How could it not all be missile or or ball? Hmm. Okay, mm. reset. So then the the more run I got thirty eight on, I hit nothing. Mm -hmm. Time I hit so many. <coughs> no, I see. Excuse me. I like the noise. You can't really hear it when we're playing it, but I'm close enough to the. Oh, speaker. the buzzing? Yeah. yeah. As you fly by each pylon. Oh, it makes a little. Yeah. yeah. down the button for like all of this oh my god oh you did it there we go <laughs> <laughs> wow there's a string in there where you just hold down the button for like the last half of it and oh, you're totally towards the fine end, yeah because uh the it's all the timing of the balloons yeah and uh oh me How it's very this? very doable well it's very doable yeah let's see so that means you need to I don't know. We'll patch! See. Another patch! Finally! <laughs> finally! Oh my god. the goal it was 37 seconds so I got, I got <laughs> yeah. 36 I 36. could probably get a little lower than that well, maybe um, but I did really really well in the last half of it because I was holding the button the whole time and just just barely um, like just scooting around each of them actually it doesn't matter how wide or narrow you take it if you're holding the button down because you're going at the same speed as long as you make it around you know, the pylons. No, you ha if you go too wide, you won't, you'll miss the next one. See? Yeah, but I didn't miss it. No, That's but I'm, I'm saying if, if you go too wide around it, you will miss it. Yes, you will. Oh, this is a terrible run. All right. Well, yeah, it's, it's the timing. You're screwed if your timing is off. Hit every tree. <laughs> Hitting it. Trying not to get too far out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm the button. May, no, restart, please. <laughs> Too, too steeply. Too fast? Yeah. 
You have to go slow and go around the back side the, of that the one. Bat, that yeah. one. There's no other way around it. Unless, unless you can cut it really tight, which I was able to. Five. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Not bad. No, it's a terrible run. You only have eight eight more seconds to shave off. Oh no. You should be pressing the button the whole time around that first one. It's straight ahead. Well yeah, the first one, but I can hear you pulling off the button on the first one. Because well, I'm trying to slow down around the corner. But I guess that doesn't matter. No, because your paint plane slows down really quick from top speed to lowest speed. I over I overshoot it. So when you overshoot it, you're screwed. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh I'm looking ahead and I'm not looking at the pylon at all. Yeah, I have to do a bit of both on this. Mm. 46. Terrible. Once you once you once you get slowed down, backed off the button on that. Oh. <laughs> and that one. This whole last bit, do the whole button the whole way, and get in before that balloon. They're so close together in this last bit. Mm. Oh. I just can't get across. No, I'm cutting it too wide. Oh. You cut it too wide, you're screwed. Like that. Avoid the balloon, and then you cut it way too wide. Oh, I see what they're doing with the balloon. The rope is staggered. That's how they're able to draw it without using uh, the sprites. Now can you reset it please? It's really clever. No way. It's button the whole way. The whole way? Yeah, you just take tight turns. Yeah, but now I can't get past it because once you're slowed down and the, the balloon's gone too far, you're screwed. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Yeah, it's better. I think that's your best one, 44. Yeah. A really good first half. You can't make that with the. No, reset it. Please. You can't make that with the button. That it's too far across. Here, the second one. No, the second one you can. That's nothing. The fourth one. Those are really. More than okay, back there, off. I can't. I can't. can't make it That's across. the third one, not the fourth one. Okay. So reset it, please. with 44. <laughs> I'm not going to hit 37, so. No? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just like hitting the button randomly. <laughs> you you have to kind of, you know, I'm good at, uh, it doesn't help when you run right into them. No, it does not. 
<laughs> Man, that's what I say. You can draw a lot with ball sizes one, two, four, or eight. You can. It's quite um, quite a variety of things you can draw. It doesn't get, but they have to be solid right across, of course. But in this game, everything is solid across. And they cheat a bit on the balloon. You can see with the ropes mm. um, because each it's staggered, going like this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So it's not a solid rope. Okay, I want to try again, <laughs> even though I beat it. Oh, what? It started going. No, 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 no. That's weird. Was your finger on it? Something was going on. Oh my god, I was doing so well. <laughs> Reset, please. So you hesitate oh. around that balloon. No, reset, please. I hit something. You can't, can't win with it. You could, you could go to the end. <laughs> Just yes, please. <laughs> ah! to make it in front of that. You have to slow. Yep. It's five. Ah! Oh. Okay. It's like two of those balloons in a row. Reset. You can actually go full speed around the th first three. Reset, please. <laughs> Anytime I crash. Uh, I did it once. Or I went full speed around the first three. Damn it! Reset. Anytime I crash. Every time? Every time I All crash. Running your plane is not sensitive. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, now I have to go around the back. It is a little. <laughs> it's the more the black back of your plane. do anything, cut it close on the front. Oh! It's doing pretty good. Damn it. Oh.
Damn it! So close. I already got the patch. <laughs> Are you trying to beat your score? Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! I think you can do the whole thing with the button held down. You think? Yeah. Uh, but you have to be so tight. You have to be very tight on those corners, I think. Yeah, see, I wasn't See, that down. was that yeah, was too enough. wide. Yeah. Because I swear I've done almost every um, pylon to pylon with the button held down. You have to be very so. careful also when you turn back. Yep. <laughs> no. Oh, you mean that he can finish the race yeah. while smashing into everything on the course? Yeah. yeah. Hi. What's up, buddy? Are you in front? Come here. Hi. Ah. Forcing love out of the black and white cat? Yeah, that doesn't usually work. Can you see him? I'm sure they can. Bit. That is not helping my game. <laughs> <laughs> not much is. I'm just I'm just pushing it so hard. Like that's You're why I'm terrible. That's why I'm speed. doing terrible because yeah. I'm pushing the limits of Okay. Are you done? Uh one more. Okay. I'll play it a little bit safer. No, one more. That's it. Okay. I'm done then. Mm -hmm. Tortured these people enough. <laughs> Got my patch. Woo. I'm fine Good with job. all of it. That plane's just going to keep crashing. Um, so, hooray. Yay. Got the patch. Um, so let's see what uh, what is happening. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, this is our Friday show. So next time we'll be here on Wednesday. And I have I think one game lined up, which is a brand new game that somebody just released. Mm. It's very interesting mechanics. It's called Dog Dog Walk. Okay. And so you're walking a dog. You're walking a dog. It's you and a dog. Okay. And the dog's not attached to you. Okay. And you have to keep yourself safe and the dog safe. Mm. And you you walk independently, but when you press the button, you call the dog to you. And there's things falling oh, from the sky. Oh, okay. So you're so kind of controlling the you're dog. You're controlling two things at once oh, along the bottom of the screen. And interesting. I've never seen a game like this. Okay, that's cool. Um, and it's really challenging because yeah. you... Don't just easily move your the dog. Mm. You move the dog towards you, not move the dog directly. Mm. Um, so it's it's brilliant, and it's he released it 
today, I think, or yesterday. Cool. Just released it. Yeah. The first, uh, the first version of it, and it's brilliant. Right out of the gate, brilliant mechanics. I've never seen this mechanics before. Okay. Um, so we're going to be playing that on Wednesday. He, it might be updated by then. I have no idea what he's going to update. Mm -hmm. It's just awesome already. Cool. Um, maybe sound or a boy in his blob. Yes, true. Yeah, it, I guess people would say it's a, a similar mechanics. Of that. Yeah, yeah. But the blob. Bob always follows you, though, doesn't it? Oh, no, you call it to you always. You move independently and then you call it. Does it come off, Come, or does it follow you all the time? Yeah, only at a few parts. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I, I did get reminded to a, of a boy in his blob. Yeah. Um, where you feed the blob different things. Yes, and turn, I remember that. Turns into a ladder or a hole yes. and you use it at different yes, spots. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, but I can't remember the mechanics for movement, but it, you do whistle for the blob to come to you. Yes. But I swear the blob just follows you any... Oh, the blob... You whistle when the blob is something. And then it becomes then the Then it blob becomes again. the blob again, yeah. and, it com and then it... I do it, I, But that. I think yeah. it always just follows you. Yeah. Yeah. There was a whistle to call him, but it, if he was in the sh shape of a tool, he didn't follow? Oh, if he was in the... Sh yeah, then that's when you had to whistle. So okay. it's got similarities to that. Mm. But the dog's always following you. Yeah. And when you whistle... Oh, he, no, the dog he, never follows you. He just kind of wanders, and he, then you pull him back. Is yeah, kind idea? of like that. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. cool. But it's it's really, really cool. So you'll be um, playing that with Erlen on Wednesday? Yeah, I'll play with that with Erlen, and I still need to find, like, two or three more games. Mm. Um, I can always dig in the archives for him. But I always like to play the new games on yeah, the show. Yeah, for sure. Um, to show what everybody's working on. Mm. Um, so if there's any updates to work-in-progress games that are happening... Or any new games. If not, I'll just uh, dig in the archives. Mm -hmm. Or because I always maintain a list of games too that I want to go to if I ever need to fill in blanks. Yeah, They're usually that you like, haven't played before that you want to go back to. Yeah. Um, that I haven't played before that I do want to go back to, um, and, or that are really old mm -hmm. games that I just haven't got to as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the plan for there. Um, and there's going to be a short break. On uh, just after the 18th show of September, because mm. I will weeks away, but yeah, yeah, because uh, we'll be in Portland and LA yes. for more film screenings Very of exciting. my documentary. Yes. So if you live around there, Portland yep. or uh, Beverly Hills, Los Angeles area, yeah. Um, somebody the other day said, "Oh, are you bringing it to San Diego?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> no." close-ish yeah. and I looked it up and it's like oh it's three hours yeah well it's yeah. doable no. that's but... that's that's a day trip for yeah. sure yeah so, it's yeah. three hours there watch a two-hour film yeah <laughs> three hours back that's an eight hour yeah it's an eight hour ordeal so that's that's a bit yeah. much I think but I did let them know yeah it was somebody on Facebook or something or Instagram asked yeah. me that um so thank you everybody for tuning in Yep. San Dindegno. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where you live? Yeah. Um, you can yeah. drive three hours. Yeah. And come <laughs> come see me and watch the of... watch the movie. Yeah. Um, so thank you for tuning in. RC70, Ice Poster, Repentless VG, uh, Rena Foot, Foot, who had to go to yeah. bed. Probably had to work in the morning. Otherwise, he'd probably stay up. Or had to do something in the morning. It's all good. Maybe just didn't want to watch Sky Jinx. Yeah. Um, Scum Software. Where? Uh, Le McAllister. Uh, oh, oh my god. It reset. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Uh, who else? Pac Man Red. Yes. Who did some who of the graphics? Yeah, with on the... uh, Egg, Egg, Egg Venture. That's Egg what Venture. It's called. Very cool game. Yeah. Very, very cool. I'm glad game. we were able to finish it. Yeah. Games are. Hello. Oh, the games are, yes. Yeah. Uh, Mallard, Mallard Games, Games who was here at the beginning yeah. chatting. And let's see. Oh, Scum Software is still with us. Yay! Thanks for running Egg Venture. Glad you all have fun with yes. it. We did. We had a ton of fun. Yeah, oh my god. It's a really cool game. I really, can't, really can't nice. wait for the next um, version. See what uh, updates. Great little, out, yeah. great little adventure game. And I, I like it, it a lot. I like it a lot. The fun part was just trying to figure out how how to make things work and what combinations and where to take things. I love things. games like that. I like games that have a bit of a puzzle element to it because and there's, and there's, it, it does make it more fun. Games there, like the one we just played last, <laughs> I find very frustrating because <laughs> they're the types of games yeah. you just have to... You just have to get good. Just really good. keep playing at it until you get used to all the 
you memorize the course and you know where what's going to end up where and yeah. You're getting really good but at I like the mechanics. A, I like a good puzzle game. I like a good game where you have to kind of think about. And there was what enough you're doing. hints, and you know, yes. the right. It wasn't just moving a block to a block. It was like, oh, that's gold. Yeah. Pitfall guy legs gold. Yeah. There's and something to figure out. And you have to bring out. that yeah. there, and it was just enough hints to keep yeah. you going, that's, right? That's fun. That's a good game. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think the discovery of you dropping something on completely the arrows, accidental because that, I'm not that good. At that game might have been hard to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. But because I accidentally hit the bottom, the, the down button. Yeah. I'm going side to side, but I'm just hitting it, and then it just dropped, and I'm like, oh, hey. So there you go. But it's like, do everything to everything, and you'll eventually yeah. figure it out and, and move things. I like accidentally figuring things out. Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. <laughs> um, and Go Fish, fun little game. More yeah. of like a, a relaxing game, because there's some it's games like that. Where it's playing just... it on your own is a very just... It's a meditative game. I like yeah. games like that sometimes. You could just play forever. Yeah. I kind of feel wall jump ninjas a bit like that. Yeah. I just I could just play that game forever. And yeah. you die, you start over, you just keep going. But there's something really re repetitive and lovely about it. And, and I think Go Fish is a bit like that too. It is. Um, and then when you're playing it head to head, uh, it's a little too hard. The one second, was too easy and one was too hard. The first hard. one was a little too easy and the second one was a little too hard. You want to start small and grow. Not yeah. be big and grow, but maybe maybe there's options. I think it was the settings yeah. that we had. Um, starting small and growing would have been Because that would have been a very good element, because if yeah. one of us grew, we were in danger at yeah. all times. Yeah, then you're like, oh god, eat, 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 you know, like yeah. you're, so you're next, fighting to eat. Next yeah. time we play that we'll on small. like um, a, yeah. you know, like a marathon night, I, I want to do like an all two-player next time all two player marathon oh time. yeah that's so where it's fun. always two players that would be fun. yeah, would like that. yeah. you missed the arena, uh, setting arena foot suggested was that on the um the go fish one probably yeah i mean we're we're playing and trying to catch up to the to yeah. the, the, the chat as well but uh, yeah so we'll but yeah do starting that next small time. and and but growing i think is the best of those both both of those worlds. Yeah, because one yeah. was too easy, one was too hard. Start yeah. Go yeah, fish, start, start small and two player. That's yeah. the one we did we did miss. But we'll save that one yeah. for the two player extravaganza night or whatever yeah. it's gonna be. You have to plan that. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, not add anytime four, too soon. And some four player games. Oh, too. of course, four players. Yeah. And I think what we will do yeah. is plan that for when the um, I always forget the name of this Quadtari gets released. Oh, because yes, yes, yes. Because there's going to be some four-player games. Oh, it's going to be that's four-player so joust, cool. four-player um, combat. Yeah. Um, and then eventually four-player hockey. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily need to be a 12-hour marathon. No, no, no. It can just be a four-player night. And yeah. You can do that. That's that true. A lot of fun. Yeah. And just have an extended show. Yeah. Not 12 hours. Yeah. Maybe like four or something. And, yeah. And just have a have an actual have a list of games list. to play. Yeah. Because yeah, last time we were just like, oh, I have some some games people are suggesting things yeah. but i think that would be a good um time to do that and celebrate yeah. you know four players that would be good and cool. of course we'll play uh, medieval mayhem again because that's amazing yeah. yes four player hockey oh yeah champ uh champ games is going to be coming out with four player hockey nice. using the quad tari nice um it's going to be called champ sports hockey mm -hmm. he has already released some screenshots from it no gameplay, but you will be guaranteed to see it here first. Exclusive world release, um, world first release here, whatever you want to call it, um, when it comes out. But he has uh, so many games in the works, and you'll be very happy with this. I don't know where he next. finds the time to do it all, too. He, he He's a really fast, programmer. really good programmer. Yeah. He yeah. is really, really fast. Yeah, that's because cool. he's done so many games now. He just. I guess he just has a catalog of, I know how to do this, and, you know, he fills in the blanks of the new things he needs to do in the, in the games. But I guess he's he's just got a um, catalog of code that he can go to can, and build access, upon. Yeah. Um, and that's what he's doing for his next game. Cool. He's building on a game that he's already made, but I can't nice. talk about it. Well, it'll get it released eventually. Yeah, but yeah. that'll be the next one, yeah. I think, he's going to put out. Um, yeah. Don't know when. But it, yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot involved in it, so it'll be a little while. Programming is one thing. Design is a whole other. Yeah, it's another port. So that makes it a little bit easier because it's kind of done. Like you know what you're going towards. If it's if it's ports, and he's done 
pretty much exclusive port games for a while. Maybe it'll be Champ Sports Hockey, which you know what to do in hockey. Right. Because well, it's of. hockey. Yeah. <laughs> but how to implement that well, is, is... as Canadians, we know what to do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the four-player will be the hard part, I guess. Yeah. But that's it for us. Thanks for tuning yes, in once again. Uh, yes, thank you, I suppose, to, for tuning in. Yes. Uh, Champ is working on two arcade games of next. Of course. <laughs> uh, no, one... Oh, well, he's working on... Um, he's working on Zoo, the uh, zookeeper. That is true. Okay. Um, that's going to be at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It is. Oh, okay. Awesome. A demo of it. Okay, good. Um, he's working on an unannounced one as well. I don't know if that's included in the two arcade games. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo? Answers my question. Zoo, yeah. Uh, definitely Zookeeper. Yeah. Um, is there another one? I mean, are there sports? Oh, there is Avalanche, and I think he's showing a demo there. Or is that coming out? Oh, he says so many. I, I keep I lose track of them now. Yeah. Anyway, we're done. <laughs> um, we will see you on Wednesday with Erlen, and uh, and then Friday again with Darcy. With Darcy. Yeah. yeah. So have a good night, everyone. Yeah. And we'll see you have next. Have a good weekend. Yes. Have a good Labor weekend. Labor Day in Canada, and oh, it is in the U.S. Else as well. In the U.S. is a Labor Day too. Yeah. It's not because um, Burning Memorial Man, or Burning like Man is this weekend always. Yes. And I know Monday is a holiday in the U.S. Coincides yeah. with Canada. It is Labor Day. Okay. I was Labor sure. Day everywhere. The funny thing is, it's our holiday we share yeah, together. Yeah, there are some holidays we have the same holidays, and they just call them obviously religious things. holidays. Well, we yeah. share, but but Labor is, Day we share too. I think this is the only non-religious one of the years. Well, Thanksgiving. The funny That's thing. That's totally different. Is that is totally that we both different. have Thanksgiving, but they're on completely different months. Yeah, like which completely different. Yeah. Like theirs is in November. But it is a harvest holiday, and the harvest would be different in Canada than in the U.S. That's so. true because we're more up north, and it would happen earlier. That's right. It all makes anyway, sense. Yeah. We don't have Boxing Day. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should have Boxing it's Day. It's an awesome day. It's when everything... You have it early. That's their... No, no, no. No, no. But here's Black the thing. Friday. No, no, now no. we have it's, Black it's Friday and about, Boxing Day. It's not, about, it's not about deals. I mean, that's not the origin of Boxing Day. It is day. now. But Boxing Day is fabulous because you get two days in a row around Christmas time, which I think awesome. everyone should get because Christmas that's day, actually lovely to have. Christmas Day, then Boxing then Day. Boxing right day, after. Right after. Two holidays. So, yeah. But now it's about I get, <laughs> getting. Now it's about getting de deals for the longest time yeah. since the eighties, seventies. Yeah. Um, and Canada Day, yeah. In Canada, of course. Well, but you, you have Fourth of July. We, we have Canada first. Day, which is the first. They're so, it's, so close. It's like yeah. You can celebrate both. Go across the border. Exactly. Celebrate one. If you're and if you're up north, take the whole weekend, all four days, yeah, and exactly. just go nuts. <laughs> if it if it happens to fall, yeah. Friday Monday, then you're you're in a good good situation. But so. we've adopted their Black Friday, so now we get that too. Yeah. Now you guys got to get the Boxing Day, so take <laughs> yeah, on you, that holiday. You need to, you need to um, <laughs> get, petition uh, Trump or whoever, whoever is you in want charge at right now point. at whatever point in time. Yeah, yeah. Boxing another, Day is pretty awesome day to have. Actually, it is yeah. gives you another little extra yeah. day to relax. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right here. Oh, I want to go to the arcade on Sunday, maybe. Yeah. You know, get another sticker. Yeah, there's we'll an awesome see. arcade in New West, uh, New Westminster. Yeah, in, but uh, the 20, Lower Mainland, about yeah. half an hour from Vancouver. Yeah. It just opened up, and mm -hmm. we've been there twice. Mm -hmm. So if you see another sticker on Wednesday, that means we went. I wonder if they're open I, on Labor Day. I'm off on Labor Day, so. Oh. oh. That'd be a good day to go. Oh, it would be. And I have the high score there on Satan's Hollow. Yeah. And... Um, Bosconian. Yeah, Bosconian. It's a fun and game. I, I love that game. I have second place on Gyrus, so okay. I need to get first on Gyrus okay. when I get back there and well, increase we'll my Satan's Hollow and increase my Bosconian because okay. I okay. definitely do better on Bosconian yeah. for sure. Cool. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe Labor Day. That's a good day. To yeah, I'll check on their Instagram. See yeah. if they're open. All right. Okay. Very cool. Oh, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> Have a blah, good night. Blah, blah. Yeah. Have a good night. See you on Wednesday. See Thanks you. for hanging yeah. out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.